gather in person at our own peril. We need to gather in person for business, for education, for so many reasons. Yeah, We're, we uh, love to be in a tribe of people mm-hmm. and uh, learn from each other and interact. Sun Chips is cashing in on a on the total eclipse in a couple of weeks by selling solar eclipse flavored chips. What? What do those taste like? I don't know. <laughs> uh, the ooh, uh, they're actually pineapple habanero. What? And black bean spicy gouda. <laughs> Doesn't sound good to me, <laughs> but there's there is a catch. There will only be available for uh, purchase online during the five minutes the eclipse is in oh, totality. Come on. Are you kidding me? So they're trying to create artificial scarcity. Let's see if we go see if for it, it breaks the internet or something. Yeah, the U.S. economy grew at a solid three point four percent annual pace from October through December. That's better than the government thought. The total output of goods and services dropped, dropping from its four point nine uh, percent rate of expansion in the July through September quarter. I just saw a headline on uh, the Wall Street Journal that said the U.K. actually now, and we always have said talked about this, even with Caleb Silver, that we don't know we were in a recession until after the fact. Mm-hmm. The U.K. now has uh, been listed as having been in a recession the last six months of 2023. Mm-hmm. Uh, so uh, anyway, we'll see what any, if anything comes of that. We're uh, mixed to start the morning. The future's uh, up on the Dow by about 47 points. The S&P is up six. It's the NASDAQ that's headed the other way. Tech stock's down about 20 points. I think that the markets are closed for Good Friday today, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Coming up in just a moment, we I eighty is glistening a little bit over the top of Parley's Canyon. Not sh- sure if that's just wet roads or if they're getting any snow up there, but we'll check it. Traffic and weather coming up next. This is the year to go see Utah Symphony and Utah Opera. The lineup is stacked with beloved classical masterworks like Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, the tragic love story La Boheme, favorite movies like Disney's Frozen and an unforgettable evening with Broadway star Audra McDonald. There is so much to love. Tickets start as low as $21, so secure great seats for extraordinary live music experiences now at usuo.org. On March 29th and 30th, hear a violinist at the top of her game. International competition winner Serena Huang is making her debut with the Utah Symphony, performing Dvorak's Violin Concerto. It's one of his most popular pieces, but so difficult that it's only attempted by the top violinists. Feel the energy in your limbs as the violinist's bow dances across your strings. It's monumental, dramatic, and selling fast. Get your tickets now at utahsymphony.org. Jeff Kaplan. When I was a kid, my parents got me a subscription to Newsweek magazine. I would devour every page into the night. And to this day, I sit on my iPad looking for stories for my minute of news, flesh out our coverage, and I get to share the news with you. Jeff Kaplan's Afternoon News, 3 to 7 on KSL News Radio. Artillery fire in Europe. Russia launching its biggest missile attack. Gunfire maimed soldiers and civilians in the Middle East. Humanitarian crisis. And at home, we can barely stand in the same room. We've never been more divided. This spring, start over. The 194th Annual General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Starting next Saturday. In your car at 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. On every smart speaker and streaming live on the app for KSL News Radio. Time again for traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy, the valleys are dry, but we saw some snow coming down really hard this morning on you dot camera somewhere. Uh, yeah, I think it's like in Nephi. But uh, closer to Salt Lake, roads are dry right now, I-15, no problems. I've uh, got some heavy traffic on State Street, the 39th South area. Mountain View's filling in a little bit in West Valley, but it's already lighter than usual along the west side uh, roads heading up towards the 201 freeway. Jason? 29 to 30 minutes. That's your travel time southbound I-15 from Ogden to Salt Lake City. And regular speeds are uh, in place right now. West Side Belt, Legacy 89. Uh, major feeders are looking good as well. Eric? I-15 is in good shape as well in Utah County. You're looking at normal travel times if you're heading out through Spanish Fork Canyon. uh, We do have some slowing uh, going past the Thistle area and then onto uh, Tucker and Soldier Summit. uh, Just road conditions, probably pretty wet out there. Along uh, I-80, if you're going through Parley's Canyon, you do have uh, some moisture on the roads, a little bit of westbound slowing up over the top of Parley Summit. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or on Fitz 
South and Bountiful, Durden's Branch you know, prices you'll love. Eric Butler and KSL Traffic Center. When we have wacky weather like this, we always depend on our weather watchers. If, if you're getting snow where you are, we'd sure like to know. If it's safe for you to let us know at 57500. Today's high 54, more rain for the holiday weekend. Uh, rain tomorrow in 54, rain Sunday in 52. Clears out a little bit on Monday. Right now it's 38 downtown. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time, 5.30. KSL's top story this hour. The Little Sahara Sand Dunes are expected to be packed with people for Easter weekend, and the county is forking over a pretty penny to make sure people are safe. KSL News Radio's Adam Small is live with details. Adam? Amanda, Little Sahara on some years gets as many as 50,000 people visiting for Easter weekend. Now, while it's technically Bureau of Land Management land, the county has an agreement with the federal government to help chip in with with search and rescue and other EMS efforts. UAP County Commissioner Clint Painter tells me throughout all of 2023, they had to dish out just shy of $400,000 to help people at the sand dunes. All the additional costs that you're seeing, you know, that I've, that I've mentioned are coming on the back of our of our taxpayers here in Jeb County. Painter tells me BLM does chip in about 75,000, but that more than 300,000 is still coming out of taxpayer pockets. Painter says the best way you can help is if you are planning on going down, make sure that you are safe and and one of the best ways that you can help also is just to lay off the alcohol, don't drink and drive and of course clean up after yourself on your way out. Reporting live Adam Small, KSL News Radio. We'll actually have their director of tourism uh, from Juab County on our outdoors program in the morning to talk more about safety down there. It'll be sunny, uh, or it will not be sunny or warm this Easter weekend. KSL News Radio's Britt Johnson says it's actually pretty common. This time of year, Utah tends to get its last inches added to the snowpack, and valley rain is more common than not. National Weather Service Science and Operations Officer David Church says the chances of Easter falling on one of the good weather days is low. Well, it doesn't mean that we can't have nice weather this time of year. You know, we've seen even in the last uh, week or two, we've had some nice sunny days into the mid-60s. But uh, we just don't tend to get large stretches of that this time of year. While it's good for Utah drought conditions, it's not so good for Easter egg hunts. And if you're traveling into higher elevations, plan accordingly because you could run into winter road conditions. Britt Johnson, KSL News Radio. Moab is also an Easter hotspot in the state, with thousands taking part in the annual Easter Jeep Safari. KSL News Radio's Alessandra Kerr reports. The Easter Jeep Safari began as a one day event with only a few drivers back in 1967. Now, 58 years later, the Safari is a nine day event with nearly 50 rideable trails and thousands of visitors each year. Jeep built four new concept cars for the Easter Safari that will officially be unveiled in Moab. The cars are built with inspiration from the Jeep. Jeep Wrangler, Wagoneer, and Gladiator models. Alessandra Gurr, KSL News Radio. The nation's national parks need billions of dollars in repairs, and one idea to fund them is to charge international visitors an extra fee. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with that story. Peter? Tim, deteriorating roads and buildings are just a few of the things that help ring up a $23.3 billion repair fee for the U.S. national parks. The current funding plan is an annual chunk of just over a billion dollars. But some groups are proposing bulking up fees for international visitors to have more money to make those fixes. A study by the Property and Environment Research Center shows a $25 add-on to a ticket for international tourists could almost double the earnings of national parks nationwide. Additionally, a charge of $40 extra could bring in an extra $528 million a year. Other resorts are known to do this, including the Galapagos Islands. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories now. The Biden campaign got an assist from two former presidents during a major funding event last night in New York City. President Biden flanked by former presidents Obama and Clinton, asking supporters on a conference call to ask others to contribute to his campaign. What have we done that affects your life that caused you to think it was important for you to contribute 20 bucks to this campaign? Tell that to your neighbors. That call kicked off a massive New York celebrity-packed Biden fundraiser, where the president says 97% of his campaign money has come from $200 or less donations. Andy Field, ABC News. 
Disgraced cryptocurrency mogul Sam Bankman-Fried has been sentenced to 25 years in prison. FTX was the premier crypto exchange, but it collapsed in late 2022 after Bankman-Fried used billions in customer funds to keep his hedge fund Alameda Research afloat. Even if victims do get their money back, many cryptocurrencies at the time of FTX's collapse would be worth considerably more today. Bitcoin's value has increased more than 300 percent since late 2022. ABC's Rihanna Nally says the FTX founder also must pay $8 billion in fines. Let's get a look at First Look Traffic with you, Andy. Amanda, travel on I-15 has been pretty clean this morning. No extra delay between Ogden, Salt Lake, or Provo. Although, if you go further south, you get some snowy conditions on I-15 as far south as Nephi. Going into the canyon, you've got some wet conditions over Parley Summit. Big and Little Cottonwood Canyons are both open, but they still have chains four-wheel drive restrictions. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Hard to believe it's been one year now since Russia detained American journalist Evan Gershkovich. It was one year ago when Russia's FSB be arrested Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich, accusing him of espionage. The U.S. State Department and his newspaper both dismissing the charges as false and his detention as wrongful. Gershkovich's mother, Ella, telling ABC News that he's continuing to push for his freedom. He says that he's fighting. He's fighting. Just this week, though, a court extending his pretrial detention until at least June 30th. Mark Remillard, ABC News. Two California men are facing charges for stealing from Utah stores. KS on his radio's Alexandria Bonilla reports. Police say the men stole thousands of dollars worth of baby formula from Macy's grocery stores in Provo, American Fork, Spanish Fork, and Pleasant Grove. Charging documents say they attempted to steal more but got too spooked by loss prevention employees. Prosecutors say they kept a notebook of when, where, and how much was stolen from each store. No official motive has been released yet. The Utah County Attorney's Office says stores should be aware of this trend and watch their baby formula. Formula closely. Alexandria Bonilla, KSL News Radio. We now know the Olympic torch in the Paris Summer Games will be placed just steps away from the Louvre. The cauldron will be between the museum and the Place de la Concorde. Uh, organizers had originally talked about putting the flame near the Eiffel Tower. That area, I think, is going to sort of be the gathering place, mm. like we had, you know, during the Winter Games down here right. with, with Metals Plaza and the entire downtown lockdown. Right. Uh, so that's going to be quite a party. Excited for them. The Princeton Review recently ranked the University of Utah's game development program first in the nation. KS on News Radio's Michael Commit is live with that story, Michael. Amanda, over at the U, the 140 students involved in the program have the chance to create a video game from the initial patch all the way up to publishing. It's a process involving artists, engineers, designers, and storytellers. Student producer Benjamin Fellows tells the Deseret News seeing these games come to life and eventually get placed on an official platform is exhilarating. The industry of video games has grown significantly over the past decades. As a matter of fact, it makes more money than music and movies combined. Reporting live, Michael Commits, KSL News Radio. If you're headed downtown, not a problem so far. Southbound from Ogden, northbound from Provo on I-15. Good go of it on this Friday morning. We'll check traffic and weather together next. Bigger stories demand more accountability, more experience, more trust. If it's like an election day or we're expecting some bad weather, KSL presents the story. I'm biased. It's a good local source. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. Derek Overstreet, founder of the New Millennium Group. We're a financial planning firm. Listen, we're fiduciaries. We have advisors standing by right now to take your call. That's 888-999-6370, 888-999-6370. The reason you're going to want to call is we're going to help you retire three to five years before you thought possible. Now, imagine how that would be if you could actually retire three to five years sooner than your plan was. The way we do this is by putting together a step-by-step plan, taking into consideration any rental properties that you have, any pension income that you have, your social security. Listen, we put that all together for you in writing. It will allow us to, to build your income based on inflation. You know, inflation has been rapidly rising. You and I both need a plan that whatever we start out our income at, in five or 10 years, we're going to need 40% more income. So if you're one of those people listening and you'd like a plan in writing, give us a call at 888-999-6370. That's 888-999-6370 or go to utahsfinancialplanner.com. Advanced window products, factory direct, affordable windows. Call today, they're on their way. Financing available. Save now, pay later. Advancedwindows.com. Hi, this is Doug Wright. A little experiment here that you can try in your home 
just for fun. Take two water heaters, run hard water through one and soft water through the other, then count how many years each one lasts. Now, of course, I can save you all that trouble because the experiment takes place every day in countless homes right here in the state of Utah. The result's always the same. Hard water makes water heaters and other appliances conk out years before they should. And that's why when Dee and I build our new home, I informed the builder that we'd have Kinetico put in our soft water. I just won't settle for anything else. With Kinetico, you'll use two-thirds less salt. All the mechanical design makes it virtually maintenance-free. And I'll tell you what, your water heater and other appliances will last years longer. All you have to do is contact my friends at Kinetico of Utah, an authorized Kinetico dealer. To learn more, call Kinetico. It's 801-576-8600 or log on to softwaterutah.com. I just checked the forecast down in Moab over the weekend. Looks like on Easter Day it's going to be close to 60 and oh. only about a 10% chance of shower. So That's nice. Beautiful for the Easter Jeep Safari, which uh, happens every year. One of the many things we'll keep an eye on this weekend for you. 539 now. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Back to you, Andy. I-15 traffic through the valley, still 20-minute travel time. We've got a little bit of State Street uh, busy traffic uh, in Murray and then some Redwood Road heavy traffic in Salt Lake going up towards 1700 south. Uh, out of Tooele, though, both I-80 and SR-201 look great. Jason? And it's your typical light volume up in uh, Weber and Davis counties for your Friday morning and looking good on I-15. Into the canyons, you're not finding any resistance. The roads are dry there as well and really no problems on the uh, side streets. Gates of Hill Air Force Base also looking really good. Eric? Very small amounts of slowing along the Wasatch Bank. Uh, if you're uh, approaching the center of Heber City on 189, there's one spot. And then uh, northbound US-40 going uh, up toward up the hill towards Jordanelle Reservoir, there's another. I-80 uh, across uh, Parley's Canyon looks pretty good despite some uh, wet spots, uh, but right now normal movement throughout. And Utah County is also in good shape on the freeway. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or on 5th South and Bountiful. Durden's brands you know at prices you'll love. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. After yesterday's rain, we'll take a break. Mostly cloudy skies, temperatures in the mid-40s. Overnight, slight chance for a shower. Temperatures drop off to 41. Tomorrow, 54 showers returning. And then another round of rain on Sunday, high of 52. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Back with the winter coat this morning. It's 37 degrees downtown. Coming up in just a moment, we'll uh, speak with Rick Klein. With the passing of Joe Lieberman, who is the No Labels organization being led by now? I mean, are they going to be able to come up with a presidential candidate or not this year? Yeah. Uh, it might be too late for that, isn't it? They've been really shy about answering that question directly um, because they don't want to, if they don't have a clear path to win, they don't want to be a spoiler. Right, for sure. Yeah. We're going to learn more with Rick in a moment on KSL News Radio. Stay with us and remember to always look for us streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. Rick at LoansByRick.com has some important information for anyone in Utah and Idaho who's thinking of buying a house. Do it now. Don't wait until summer because home prices in those two states will likely increase by 10 to 20 percent due to in-migration from California and other states. That means a house that costs $400,000 right now will go up by 40 to 80 grand with multiple offers. Interest rates may drop later in the year, possibly to the 6% range, but the increased cost of the home will mean that your monthly payments will go up by a lot. So start looking and buy now. Refinance when the interest rates go down. Waiting to buy your home will only hurt you in the long run. For more details and buying strategies, call Rick at loansbyrick.com right now. 801-809-SAVE. Rick can evaluate your situation and get you on the path to buying a home today. 801-809-SAVE or click loansbyrick.com. Rick Kirschbaum, NMLS 241179 and Vintage Lending, NMLS 287106 are equal housing lenders. Some restrictions apply. I'm what you might call very good at hide and seek. This one time, my parents had to round up the whole neighborhood to track me down. It was a mess. A lot of tears. Well, now that we got Xfinity, we have Wi-Fi all over the house, including all my favorite super secret hiding spots. So I can kill time in here by streaming my shows and- Ha, found ya. The heck? How? You left to find my tablet on. This generation, ruining the game with their performance enhancers. Get wall-to-wall -wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity. 
for a reliable connection throughout your home. Now through June 21st, get gig speed internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. Gig speed Wi-Fi requires gig internet and Xfinity gateway. Xfinity mobile requires Xfinity internet. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Actual speeds vary. I have diabetes. I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. I have asthma. I'm at risk, too. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine, a Pfizer vaccine that can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. KSL News Time, 545. The three things you need to know this hour. First, Little Sahara Recreation Area is expected to be packed with visitors again this Easter weekend, and locals are paying quite a bill to make sure there's enough emergency workers around them. I'm KSL News Radio's Adam Small. Second, two California men are facing charges accused of stealing thousands of dollars in baby formula from Utah stores. Third, traffic and weather together. I-15 traffic is still clear on the freeway between uh, Salt Lake and uh, Point of the Mountain. Ogden to downtown, and uh, so far the only issues going up into elevations, Parley's and uh, Big and Little Cottonwood Canyons. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Mostly cloudy with a high of 54 today, but rain returns tomorrow. I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 37 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. And time for a look at our top national story. ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. The largest cranes on the East Coast are arriving in Baltimore, where they will be helping out to lift large chunks of the Francis Scott Key Bridge out of the river below. The removal and rebuilding process will be a long one, says ABC's Perry Russom, who has more from Baltimore. When asked for a timeline on removing the wreck, the governor did not have an answer, saying it's a complicated process. The Department of Homeland Security is using an estimate that shows this entire collapse could cost up to $4 billion. Joe Biden, Bill Clinton, and Barack Obama all taking the stage at Radio City Music. Music Hall last night in a fundraiser for the president. It brought in a record-breaking $25 million. Former President Donald Trump was also in New York on Thursday at the wake for a slain New York City police officer. Nine people have been detained in Russia over suspected contact with the perpetrators of last week's attack on that suburban Moscow concert hall. And today marks one year in Russian detention for Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gerskovich. This is ABC News. Let's go in depth now. Former governor of New Jersey, Chris Christie, will not be running on the no labels ticket. The third party found by late Senator Joe Lieberman, who died on Wednesday. ABC News political director Rick Klein joins us live. Will they be able to to put a candidate on the ballot, Rick? Man, it doesn't look like it. It's really wild to me because of all of the resources and time and effort that's put into it by, by the late Senator Lieberman, as well as many others. I just thought this would have to end with a name. They don't have that name. And, and Christie is the latest in a long line of, uh, of candidates who took a pass. They went through Joe Manchin. They went through Larry Hogan. They went through John Huntsman. Uh, they went through Nikki Haley. And then finally, Christie said no as well. And coincidentally, his announcement came maybe an hour or so after the announcement of the death of Senator Lieberman, whose final political act was trying to cobble this together. I mentioned a minute ago they've been really coy about uh, answering a direct question about whether they are committed to putting somebody on because they obviously don't just want to be a spoiler. Yeah, and they've always, I mean, to their credit, they've always said there's a possibility they can pull the plug if it looked like they would be a spoiler and help elect Trump in particular. Uh, but that said, uh, it was recently as a couple of weeks ago, they said they were all systems go after Super Tuesday when it was a Trump Biden mashup. And they went to, you know, candidate by candidate. They tied extensive talks with several candidates, Christie included. Christie took it very seriously, too. I mean, I was told he. He conducted polling in more than a dozen states. He uh, talked to fundraisers and donors to see what what the serious bid would be like um, and ultimately concluded that it just wasn't something there for him. And and the likeliest scenario would be that he would uh, help tip the election to Donald Trump, which, like no labels, 
is exactly what Chris Christie doesn't want to do. That's mm. what he said he wouldn't do when he got out of the race for president uh, you know, right before the voting started this year. Do you see anyone who would be right as a candidate for no labels? I don't know what's left. I mean, I, I'll, I will say that, you know, I, I've long thought that they, they should be looking not at former senators and former governors and alike and, you know, more 70 year old white guys, uh, frankly, uh, and, and more, at the, you know, at the world of big business and finance, and tech and entrepreneurship and maybe diversity and youth. Uh, there's, there's other directions to go. So maybe there's someone that I'm not aware of. I didn't think of. Uh, I know there was some talk about Mark Cuban, for instance, although he's long since ruled that out and supporting Biden. Uh, so maybe they maybe they could pull a rabbit out of the hat. But uh, out of the names that we were aware of and that we reported out, I talked to several several of the candidates who were talked about, and they all went through the same paces and the same motions and came to the same conclusion that this wasn't likely to end uh, successfully. I, I know we've got to let you go, but what do you make of uh, Robert Kennedy's uh, standing right now? I looked at an Ipsos poll earlier this week. He's polling about 16 percent in some places. Yeah, I mean, it's certainly a it, it's an eye popping number. Uh, you know, I think, you know, you can you can look at this and, and realize he's not going to be on a state. In a lot of places right now, Utah is the only state that he's definitely on, although there's some others that his supporters say he's going to be on. Uh, so that might limit the appeal. But, you know, it, it makes sense that people are interested in um, in another option, whether whether that option ends up being Kennedy or you know Jill Stein or Cornell West or some or, or none of the above is another question. But um, the same dynamics that made no labels appealing to a lot of people, I think, could benefit uh, Kennedy at least until or unless people start to look at his record and then decide whether he's someone they would want to actually vote for. Mm. Fascinating as always, Rick. Thank you, ABC News political director Rick Klein, with us on the In Depth at fifteen and forty-five. Been a good morning so far on the roads. Let's get another look of traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to twenty cents a gallon. Back to Andy Farnsworth. Yeah, driving through Salt Lake Valley right now. At least I fifteen is off to a good start. We don't have a lot of heavy traffic on the west side so far, Mountain View, Bangor, or even fifty-six hundred west yet. But it is waking up a little bit. In near the 21st South Freeway on both Redwood and Bangor Highway, but on the north side of 201, at least for now. Jason? And you're still not going to find any resistance as you head out the door to work this morning up in Weeper in Davis County, southbound I-15. Roll smoothly through uh, Layton, Kaysville, Farmington, Woods Cross, down into Salt Lake City. Likewise, on the other major highways and feeders over to I-15, you're looking good. Eric? Looking at a 28-minute drive northbound Utah County from Payson up to the county line, getting over to the freeway. Uh, no difficulties there so far far uh, from uh, Spanish Fork uh, Highway 6 over to Timpanogos Highway and everything in between a solid drive over to I-15. Is the is it winter? Is it spring? Well, who cares? Come explore Logan. Baby Animal Days Festival is happening now through April 6th. Mountain Man Rendezvous, live performances, skiing, snowmobiling, and more. ExploreLogan.com. Eric Butler on the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast starts out with mid-50s today with mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, chance for showers, 54. Easter Sunday looks like we've got valley rain, mountain snow, maybe even some switch over to snow in the valleys, high of 52. Monday, 53, mostly cloudy skies. Going into Tuesday, hey, we bump it to 59, 65 by Wednesday, mostly sunny skies, then partly cloudy with a high of 63 on Thursday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, it is 37 degrees, and the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. KSL News Time 552. Steve, it's becoming one of the worst-kept secrets in the Salt Lake Valley, and that's what is NPS. Yes. And that's a great place to go save money. And we've gotten a lot of flack about it, but sorry, we kind of want to share with everyone what great savings are available at the four different locations of NPS in Utah. Yeah, so they sell groceries at NPS, they sell merchandise at NPS, and they have industrial items at NPS. Just depends on where you go, but they're competitive on the groceries. They'll beat your price at the grocery store on just about anything. And everything else is 30 to 70% off, so you can't go wrong with that. No, and it's 30 to 70% off retail, and they're brand new items. That's yes. the thing we have to make sure you understand. And then every once in a while, they'll do sales that they'll put another 30 50 percent off of those to where you're paying a fraction of what you'd pay at retail stores i love the industrial store because it's it's kind of a discovery for me yeah that's in salt lake it's 1600 south empire road they've also got locations in layton 1150 north main and orem 475 north state nps spend time with the ones you love and the most unique dining experience in utah five alls restaurant five stars five courses full of history and tradition open wednesday through saturday visit fivealls.com Jazz Plus is here. 
With Jazz Plus, you can watch games live from your TV, computer, tablet, or phone. So don't miss any of the action when you're at home or away. Can't get enough of your favorite team? Go behind the scenes and see what the team is up to on and off the court. With flexible plans, you can choose what works for you. From full season to monthly, or just pick a single game you want to watch. Sign up and subscribe today at utahjazzplus.com. KSL offers the best daily newsletter in the state. It's the three things you need to know. Every weekday, we deliver quality and relevant content to your inbox. No ads, no spam, just the three things you need to know to be informed about the world around you. Subscribe today. Visit kslnewsradio.com or text the word INBOX to 57500. That's INBOX to 57500. Watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. While it's doubtful we'll ever, ever see uh, three percentage point mortgage rates again, <laughs> uh, we are in to see some cuts in the near future, but right now they're holding steady at 6.9%. The Federal Reserve expects as many as three interest rate cuts this year. The first major health insurers will start covering weight loss drug Wagovi for certain people on Medicare. But there's a catch. It's only for people with heart-related conditions. It's taken so long for the insurers to cover it because of the cost. Users have been paying more than $1,000 a month for the medication. KSL Drive's Infinity, Nissan's luxury line, is working on a way to wirelessly take a phone call without passengers hearing it. Hmm. The idea is that your passengers will get to keep hearing the radio or music playing without the person on the other end of the line hearing it. Hmm. Could be on the market as soon as next year. Let's get a look at your money at this moment. Of course, the markets are closed for Good Friday, but the futures, Dow futures down 5, S&P down 4, the Nasdaq futures off 39. Time this morning for Cougar Track, sponsored by Central Bank. Here's BYU insider Mitch Harper. We've reached the end of the road for Cougar Tracks in this inaugural year covering BYU in the Big 12. BYU football learned how challenging power conference play can be as they missed the postseason for the first time in six years. On the other hand, BYU men's basketball exceeded everyone's low expectations and reached the NCAA tournament. But a new chapter awaits next fall as BYU will be part of a 16-team Big 12 that includes in-state rival Utah. Big 12 Commissioner Brett Yormark is bullish on the league's future. There's never been a better time to be part of this conference than right now. Our future is extremely bright, very bullish in our future. The Four Corners obviously will be joining us. We'll be a 16-team league for the first time. Cougar Tracks will return this August, but in the meantime, go to kslsports.com for all my written content and podcast this offseason. With Cougar Tracks, I'm Mitch Harper on your legacy home of the BYU Cougars, KSL News Radio. Odds are, if you have a 401k, it's set up with your payroll provider or an insurance company. I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and if you're using your payroll provider or an insurance company for your 401k, the employer may be overpaying for the plan, the employees may have blasé investment options, and those blasé investment options may cost more than they should. Not with Trajan Wealth. Call us today, 801-899-7600. That's 801-899-7600. Services offered through a third-party partner. Getting help with electrical repairs is easier than you think. All you have to do is call Any Hour Services or schedule an appointment at anyhourservices.com. No one helps more homeowners than Any Hour Services. Utah's strong winds can cause huge damage to your roof that you can't see. Your roof might need repair. Don't wait for a disaster. Call the masters at Master Roofing for an honest inspection at 801-383-0072. Specializing in small repairs, Master Roofing handles everything from patching holes to full roof replacements. Schedule your free assessment at masterroofingutah.com. America's pastime is hitting the field. KSL has a roster of all-stars to welcome the season. Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon with breaking news from 5 to 9. Dave and Dejanovic and Boyd Matheson have analysis and talk all day. And there's Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News on the way home. Your bullpen is loaded on KSL News Radio. 559 traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, travel through Salt Lake County. No crashes to start us off. That's good news. 
Roads down in the valley are dry, and uh, with this lighter Friday morning start, uh, we're not going to have any extra travel time going up towards the airport, coming out of Tooele County on SR-36 or I-80 so far. Jason? Yeah, seeing a few extra cars now at the Westgate of Hill Air Force Base, uh, but that's pretty much everything we've got going on. Your major feeders over to I-15 are looking really good, and we've got light volume still on all of the highways, so you're not going to find any problems if you're traveling on any of those. Eric? Where US 80, 189 and US 40 uh, meet up in the center of Heber City. You got a little bit of congestion on the northbound side uh, that's on uh, US 40, but uh, once you go through Heber all the way up to Jordanell Reservoir, no trouble uh, going up to the Park City turnoff. And I 80 through Parley's Canyon, we got some wet roads at the summit, but uh, we're still at a normal rate of speed throughout. Spring is here and new deals are blooming at Murdoch Chevrolet. Receive up to, receive up to $9,000 off or 2.9% for six years on a Silverado. 1500. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Lock in what you see today, uh, temperature-wise, all the way through Monday, 53, 54 degrees. Going to rain, though, both Saturday and Sunday, so your weekend covered. Right now, 37 in Salt Lake City. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good morning. KSL News Time is 6 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story this hour. A man accused of four hit and runs in the Salt Lake Valley will be back in court today. But this morning, KSL News Radio has obtained exclusive video of another Salt Lake City hit and run where a woman was hit in the avenues while jogging. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera begins our team coverage. It was the morning of March 12th when a doorbell cam on T Street catches a white car ramming through trash cans and the woman, flinging her in the air onto the sidewalk lawn. Christian McRae, a neighbor who heard the crash, came running while the driver sped away. I really immediately knew a hit and run had happened, and I was expecting a dead person. So worried, and I got there and she was not dead, and I was so so happy, but it all happened really quick. This comes following the four hit and runs on FAM is being charged for, but Salt Lake PD have yet to confirm a connection. You can see the exclusive footage on kslnewsradio.com and our socials. Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. As we mentioned, that man is back in court today. KSL News Radio's Adam Small continues our team coverage. Adam? Tim Fame will be back in front of a judge regarding a bond, and that judge will not only be looking at his alleged hit and runs, but also a couple other minor offenses. As of today, prosecutors have charged him with six counts of attempted murder between four different hit and runs in Salt Lake County. The first date's all the way back to August, where he allegedly ran down a woman at 10th West and 5th South. He's also been accused of intentionally hitting a woman in Sandy and two women in Sugar House in February. He was arrested two days before the most recent one we know of at 6th West and North Temple earlier this month. Live Adam Small, KSL News Radio. A former Idaho governor candidate and activist appears to be hiding out in Utah after he got fined over $50 million in Idaho. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with details. Peter? Amanda, Ammon Bundy helped lead two massive and armed standoffs with the federal government in the 2010s, and later he stormed the Idaho Capitol in 2020 over state COVID policies. Multiple news outlets reported that he disappeared from Idaho in last year, though, after he received a $50 million fine for harassing a local hospital. Bundy tells the independent investigative firm called Bellingcat that he's not in hiding and peace officers can arrest him at any point. But Bellingcat used clues from his social media videos to locate him in southern Utah. One video included a fringe magnet with the title Iron County Schools, and another shows him driving past a sign that Bellingcat pinpointed on I-15 in southern Utah. Reporting live, Peter Johnston. KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories this hour. Massive cranes are arriving at the site of the Baltimore Bridge collapse this morning. Here's ABC's Perry Russell. Investigators have been on board Dolly surveying the twisted steel encasing the front of the ship. The Coast Guard says they're trying to determine where to cut the bridge. The weight of those beams crashing onto the ship, a major challenge. There is no timeline on how long it will take to remove the bridge wreckage and get the Baltimore port back open. Two women pulled over earlier this week in Weber County say they're going to file a complaint with Clinton police this morning over a strange traffic stop. KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson explains. From the time an SUV began following them to the moment lights came on and they were pulled over, Taylor and Virginia say they both felt something was off, telling KSL 5 they don't believe they were adequately shown IDs or badges and that the reason they were pulled over seemed nitpicky to them. That we rolled past the stop line before 
before completing our stop at a stop sign. They say they felt unsafe, worried that two men were impersonating police officers. Turns out one of those men is a Clinton police officer assigned to U.S. Marshal duty. One of the fathers of the two women has already filed a complaint. Clinton police say they are investigating. Mark Jackson, KSL News Radio. A heads up for downtown Salt Lake City drivers with a construction project getting underway Monday morning. KSL News Radio's Tammy Kikuchi has details. Dominion Energy is closing the intersection at South Temple and Second South to replace a natural gas line. The closure starts in April and wraps up in mid May. All traffic lanes will be closed, but right turns only will be allowed for access to businesses and parking garages. Work will take place between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m., Monday through Friday, with weekend work on occasion. Reduce speeds while driving near the work zone. Nearby residents and businesses can expect increased noise, dust, and vibration. The closure timeline could change because of the weather. First look traffic now, and back over to you, Andy. Amanda, we start off without any crashes on the freeways or city streets, at least none reported that are having an impact. I don't see any slow spots yet on dry roads from Ogden to Salt Lake to Provo on the freeway. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. A coalition of environmental groups is petitioning to save a bird. That stops at the Great Salt Lake as it migrates. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson reports. Wilson's fowler ropes travel from South America and 60% of them stop at the Great Salt Lake on their way north for breeding season. Scientists say the small migratory bird's fate is intrinsically linked to the health of the Great Salt Lake. A representative from the Center for Biological Diversity told an impassioned crowd at Utah State Capitol Thursday they've submitted a petition to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to protect Wilson's phalarope under the Endangered Species Act. The group says the Endangered Species Act has a 99% success rate of saving species from extinction. The White House says it's getting ready to welcome 40,000 people for its annual Easter egg roll. The egg extravaganza was first held on the lawn in 1878. Guests this year will include thousands of military and veteran families. Members of the general public claim tickets through an online public lottery. And how about this? A landscaping team at BYU can now call themselves the national champions. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live with more. Michael? Tim, it's a yearly contest where landscaping students not only compete, but also connect with landscaping professionals. Both I and KSL TV spoke to students and faculty advisors, and planting landscape professor Phil Allen says this year's event was special for another purpose. Even more emotional and winning was seeing over 50 past students who are highly successful in the profession of landscape contracting come back and be involved with the event. Team captains Shelby Monks and Joanna Davis also told me they weren't expecting the team to do as well as they did. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. Coming up in just a moment, we'll get another look at the morning commute. I think it was okay last time. I guess traction devices are required for big and little cottonwood canyons. We should tell you that. We'll check the rest of it just ahead. Spend your workday with a talk show that makes you feel better about the news. Dave and Dejanovic. They have a good dynamic between the two of them. Sometimes I'll take Dave's side and sometimes I'll take Debbie's side. They're great. Dave and Debbie, live from 9 to noon, or podcast the show on the app for KSL News Radio. Devotion to country, service to Utah. Brent Oren Hatch had a front row seat, watching his father serve our state faithfully in the Senate. A constitutional conservative and lifelong Republican. Brent Oren Hatch is a champion for the rule of law. He's running for Senate to stop this lawless president from destroying our country from within. Hatch will fight to secure the border once and for all and take on Mexican drug cartels to halt the flow of deadly fentanyl. Brent Oren Hatch knows the national debt is just as big a threat to national security. Hatch won't rest until the budget's balanced and won't cave to the big spenders in both parties. Pro-life, Deeply committed to religious liberty, rock solid Utah conservative. Brent Oren Hatch for Senate. Paid for by Conservative Outsider PAC, which is responsible for the content of this advertising. Not authorized by any candidate or candidate's committee. www.copac.us. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. 
Imagine your team always looking and feeling their best in high-performance technical workwear. Cintas can make it happen. They have garments for almost every job imaginable. And with the Cintas Workwear Program, you get freshly laundered garments delivered every week for everyone on your team. Great garments without the bother of laundry. That's a real perk for employees. Find out how Cintas can boost team image and morale. Visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the workday. We've got yet another story this morning, uh, and this is a KSL exclusive caught on a ring camera of another possible hit and run that may be connected to the others that Mm -hmm. we've been talking about. It's another white car that runs into a woman. It's something that our uh, Eric Cabrera is following up on. We'll have team coverage for you throughout the morning. 6.09, time for a look at the drive with traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. And he's back in the traffic center. Tim, just a little bit of slowing creeping in on the 201 freeway or on uh, Bangator and Mountain View just before the 201 freeway, I should say. Heavy traffic on Redwood coming down off 201 and heading south into West Valley. Uh, Don't see any delays, though. I-15 from Draper to Salt Lake. Road's dry and traffic is light, Jason. And speaking of light traffic, that's what you're going to find up in Weber and Davis counties this morning. And if you're headed up into the canyons, no problems there either. The roads are dry uh, in Sardine Canyon, Ogden Canyon, and Weber Canyon. Uh, No problems uh, if you are headed on your major feeders over to I-15. Still a little bit uh, busy at the Westgate of Hill Air Force Base, but nothing too major. Eric? Uh, Normal travel times northbound on the 215 East Belt. If you're uh, getting on at 6200 South and heading up past Mount Olympus to the mouth of the canyon, Foothill Drive, uh, continuing the northbound trek. That looks good up to the University of Utah. I-15, Utah County, same thing. No problems northbound and southbound. For over 80 years, the Olson Greenhouse family has delivered the best flowers for your home and landscape. Add color and cheer this year with bedding and container plants from Olson's Greenhouse. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. We're looking at mostly cloudy skies today for your Friday. Temperatures topping out right around 54. Overnight, we'll dip off to 41. Cloudy skies and a slight chance for showers. Tomorrow, 54 showers returning. Better chance for rain on Easter Sunday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Man, right now in Salt Lake City, quite a bit cooler than it was yesterday, 37 degrees. King Charles, uh, I guess, released a recorded message for the traditional pre-Easter church service. You told me that was the first time he's been seen since the cancer diagnosis. Yeah, uh, and that's why it's getting attention all over the world is uh, people have been, you know, wondering and worried about Mm -hmm. him. We'll hear more about it just ahead on KSL News Radio. Stay with us for that, and remember to always look us up streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news traffic and weather station. Utah Community Credit Union wants you to know that uh, you can have more than just a checking account. I'm trying to think. We, we still call it a checking account, Even but I haven't, write checks. I haven't used a check it forever. Uh, usually use the card, but man, uh, it is so much more than just a checking account these we, days. We may need a new name for it because it has, this are, these are all the things that come with my checking, I say in air quotes, account. I get cell phone protection. I get roadside assistance. I get zero copay telehealth. With my checking account. Yeah, it's why they call it elevated checking, and I think it's great that they use uh, Walker Kessler yeah, <laughs> as I've their endorser that. here. He is Utah's tallest basketball star, by the way. But there's a lot of other things that come on uh, this uh, elevated checking, including uh, credit monitoring, dark web monitoring, which they had to explain to me. I've heard of the dark web, but I didn't know you could actually it mm-hmm. monitored what goes on there just in case, you, you know, you've got something that's nefarious going on with your name. Right. And, and there's overdraft forgiveness and 30,000 ATMs nationwide. This is the account you need to have. It's awesome. And it's with UCCU. There are no new apps to download. The uh, credit score toolbox is right inside Use, uh, UCCU's mobile banking. And find out more about elevated checking. Utah Community Credit Union. Love where you bank. I'm what you might call very good at hide and seek. This one time. My parents had to round up the whole neighborhood to track me down. It was a mess. A lot of tears. Well, now that we got Xfinity, we have Wi-Fi all over the house, including all my favorite super secret hiding spots. So I can kill time in here by streaming my shows and- Ha! Found ya. The heck? How? You left to find my tablet on. This generation, ruining the game with their performance enhancers. Get wall-to-wall Wi-Fi from Xfinity. 
for a reliable connection throughout your home. Now through June 21st, get gig speed internet for $25 a month for two years with no annual contract and free Wi-Fi equipment included when you add unlimited mobile. Go to Xfinity.com, call 1-800-XFINITY, or visit a store today. Requires paperless plan and auto pay with stored bank account. Restrictions apply. Taxes and fees extra. Gig speed Wi-Fi requires gig internet and Xfinity gateway. Xfinity mobile requires Xfinity internet. After promo, regular rates apply to internet service and Wi-Fi equipment. Actual speeds vary. When the weather warms up, it's like a stampede. Except instead of dust stirred up by hundreds of hooves, it's a cascade of phone calls to advanced window products. This is Jeff Kaplan. Soon as the sun shines and the snow's gone, people want new windows and frames from Utah's number one custom window maker, and the wait for installation grows longer. But right now, you can get near the front of the line by calling for a quote and get $2,500 off when you purchase 10 windows or more. That's on top of the incredible savings for the highest quality double pane windows and frames, any style, any color. See, at Advanced Window Products, they actually build the windows here in Utah, they install the windows, and they guarantee them for life. There's no middleman, and they can pass the savings on to you. They even offer buy now, pay later. So get in before the wait grows longer and get the $2,500 off. Get your new windows this spring. Make the call. Advanced Window Products, 801-850-9100. That's 801-850-9100. Or visit advancedwindowsusa.com. KSL News Time, 615. The three things you need to know this hour. First, man accused of targeting and intentionally running over several women in the Salt Lake Valley will be back in the courtroom today. I'm KSL News Radio's Adam Small. Second, Juab County officials say they're ready for the Easter weekend rush to the Little Sahara Sand Dunes, and it's going to cost them thousands of dollars. Third, it's traffic and weather together. And we've got traffic looking good, at least so far, on I-15 and I-215. A little bit of a westbound slowdown on the 201 freeway right now, going from Redwood towards 215 on the west side of Salt Lake City. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Our cold front is stalled out in central Utah. We'll keep it dry for the Wasatch. I'm Matt Johnson. 37 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Now look at our top national stories. Our cold front. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. As giant cranes arrive in Baltimore to start the process of removing the wreckage of the key bridge, the long process of figuring out what happened to cause that cargo ship to lose power and slam into the bridge has also just begun. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze is in Baltimore with more. Federal investigators are now poring over the ship's voyage data recorder, outlining a timeline of the five minutes before the disaster. Floating barriers deployed around the ship's hull. Six construction workers who were on the bridge when it collapsed are now presumed dead, including 38-year-old Minor Yasir Suazo Sandoval. His brother Carlos telling us Minor was a happy person with a big heart. Experts say rebuilding could take anywhere from 18 months to several years. On Wall Street, the markets are closed today for Good Friday, so we won't know what today's inflation numbers out in about a half hour mean for stocks. Recently, however, Wall Street's been rallying. Stocks have closed out the first three months of the year, not only logging their best quarter since 2019, but in the case of the S&P 500, hitting a new record high. Recession worries now being replaced with confidence, along with a big helping of enthusiasm for artificial intelligence and the tech sector. Stocks like chip maker NVIDIA surging more than 80 percent this year. It's ABC's Allison Kosick. Former Presidents Obama, Clinton and Trump, as well as President Biden, all in New York on Thursday. Obama, Clinton and Biden at a fundraiser. Trump at a wake for a slain New York City police officer. Today marks exactly one year that Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich was detained in Russia. His father, Mikhail, telling ABC News he knows the federal government's been trying to get him out. We are confident that they're doing everything they can, and we want them to continue to do that. The front page of today's Wall Street Journal is completely blank as a commemoration. You're listening to ABC News. Yeah, we were hoping to uh, be able to talk with Inez de la Catera, still efforting that, but... King Charles stressing the importance of kindness and peace this Easter as he undergoes cancer treatment. I had forgotten that that as king, he is also the head of the Church of England. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense that because at first when I saw that this morning, I thought, why would King Charles have an Easter message? Well, because he is the head of the Church of England. Well, they've always had this traditional pre-Easter church service, but I didn't realize until Inez sent us, uh, you know, some notes for our conversation with her. That this had such a tradition, I mean, such a long history there in the U.K. Back to the year 600, this service has been going on that commemorates the Last Supper. 
And I guess that monarchs back in the day used to wash the feet of the needy as part of this celebration. They don't do that anymore. Yeah, Queen Camilla was there. He did not attend, but the reason this is getting so much play around the world is because he has not been seen or heard from since he was diagnosed with cancer. Do we know how his treatment is going? I've not read anything. I don't think they're giving out that kind of information, Mm -hmm. uh, but just the fact that, you know, he's seen and heard here. Uh, gives great hope uh, to those that love and follow him over there in the U.K. and really in other places of the world. But instead of the uh, washing of the feet, uh, Camilla uh, presented purses filled with special coins known as Maudi money Hmm. to 75 women, 75 men, a number dictated by the king's age. Oh, wow, that is so interesting. I love the tradition of it all. Yeah, I do too. And it's part of the reason why everyone's always fascinated when there's a, a royal parade mm-hmm. or a royal ceremony or, you know, when the king took over, when there's a birthday. Tradition grounds us. Yeah. And I think, you know, it's it's like the complete opposite of social media, which does not ground us at all. This It grounds us to place and time. It's, it's wonderful. And it's one of the things I, I most appreciate about my international travel, quite frankly. Mm-hmm. And I, I realize how little of that, really, we have in our country. Mm-hmm. Uh, but other places, they teach their children very young to, you know, follow uh, and learn to to cook certain traditional Mm -hmm. meals, traditional dance, traditional wear. Mm -hmm. uh, And this is uh, uh, an important part of what uh, the Brits have been all about for all this time. Sorry we didn't get a chance to hook up with Inez. Right now at 619, traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And back to you, Andy. Uh, Amanda had just a little bit of slowing show up on the 201 freeway right by uh, Redwood Road and heading out to uh, the west side belt route. It's actually on the collector, not the main flow. So those of you who are trying to switch from 201 to go on to North 215 and you get follow that uh, long collector, that's the one that's got the slowing. No backups on I-215 or I-15 in the Salt Lake Valley. And at least for so far, Mountain View and Bangor are pretty light through the West Valley portion. Jason? And you're still rolling at regular speed southbound I-15, which means about 29 to 30 minutes of travel time from Ogden to Salt Lake City. 89 Legacy Westside Belt are clear and at good speeds as well. A little bit crowded at the west gate of Hill Air Force Base, and uh, but looking really good at the south gate. Eric? Normal travel times in Utah County from Spanish Fork to Point of the Mountain. That's a 24-minute drive. And the major feeders over to the freeway, by and large, are without any kind of delay at all. We've got a little bit of uh, congestion over at the 2100 North intersection uh, for eastbounders at 2300 West if you're heading through Lehigh to the freeway. Box Elder County has gone to the birds. Spring migration is here at Bear River Migratory Bird Refuge. See what visitors are chirping about with Box Elder County. For info, activities, and more, visit Box Elder KSLCounty.com. Eric Butler on the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast, 54 today, mostly cloudy skies. 54 tomorrow with a chance for showers. Better rain chances on Sunday, high of 52. Mostly cloudy skies on Monday, 53. Full-blown sunshine with high pressure moving in on Tuesday, 59. We bump it up to 65 by Wednesday, mostly sunny skies. Thursday, partly cloudy and 63. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. We have a ways to go to get to the 63 mark, I'll tell you that. It's 37 degrees to start the morning, and the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. This is such an important day for Christians. It's Good Friday, so yeah. happy Good Friday to all of you. Thank you for the, we've received a lot of texts this morning wishing us a happy Good Friday. That is so kind of everyone. Yeah, and it's uh, it's nice to know that people are still, you know, in commemorance of uh, the crucifixion of Christ. They're still out there. Uh, recognizing it, celebrating it on this Easter weekend. And there's a lot of reasons to celebrate this weekend. Hopefully you and your family have the chance to get together and uh, do it as a group. My sons have spent Easter weekends with my brother and his family for the last, oh, I don't know, 10 years. And this is the first time I get to have them here with me for Easter in forever, like since they were little. So it's going to be a lovely Easter weekend. It did come, in case you're wondering, it did come earlier. Yeah. than it normally does, right? Uh, which we were talking yesterday is uh, they think is going to affect the amount of money retailers actually make because mm. we've had less time to shop for the Easter rabbits. And chocolate is so dang expensive. Yeah, that too. Uh, speaking of expensive, <laughs> we'll, uh, and uh, money news, we'll check it coming up here in a minute. Last time we looked, and the markets are closed. Yes, for Good Friday. For Good Friday. So uh, we'll see what the futures look like anyway because the trading goes on around the rest of the world. Stay with us. Stop for a moment and think about this. Do you know how much money in your 401k or IRA is actually yours? Or will the government take a bigger chunk than you thought? Remember, you still might owe taxes on that money. 
But do you have a plan to help make sure you don't pay more than you should? At Capital Wealth Advisors, we believe you deserve to keep more of what you've earned, which is why we're here to help you navigate the confusing world of retirement taxes. It's your money. You deserve to know what's at stake. Right now, taxes are historically low, but they won't be this low forever. So call the Capital Wealth Advisors team today so you don't miss out on this opportunity. 801-210-5500. That's 801-210-5500. You work hard for your money and we'll work just as hard to help you keep it. Capital Wealth Advisors, 801-210-5500. Advisory services offered through Capital Wealth Advisors, LLC, a state of Utah registered investment advisor. Firm may not give tax advice. Common Spirit Health, hospitals, clinics, and caregivers all connected to advance health care in Colorado, Kansas, and Utah. Health care with human kindness is here. Hello, human kindness. The Salt Lake Chamber is Utah's voice for business. Okay, that sounds great, but what does it really mean? Well, as Utah's largest and longest standing business association, they support and champion community prosperity throughout the state. And if you're in business, well, that's a very good thing for you. Be sure to listen to the Chamber's Speaking on Business, weekdays at 7.20, 11.55, and 5.20 p.m. on KSL News Radio. Well, hello, it's me again. And like me, I'll bet you're ready for spring in a little green lawn again. I've got a tip. Don't spend a fortune hiring a lawn care company. Save some money and do it yourself. And here's how. Go to j j Garden Center in Layton and purchase their simple, color-coded five-step fertilizer system that covers up to 10,000 square feet and will rejuvenate your lawn for just $199.98. And nobody beats j js price. So for a lush, healthy, green lawn, come and try j j Garden Center's five-step fertilizer system. I promise you won't regret it. Take the Leighton Parkway exit, Main Street to Gentile, then with two miles, you've got to see it to believe it. You really do. Country grown to your home, J&J Garden Center. Watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Music streaming service Spotify will be helping Universal Music group to, uh, group to promote their music after all music from the company was removed from TikTok. The removal of the songs have hurt the virality. Virality? Viral. Viral? That's not a word, is it? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is. I've never heard that. Virality? Of I've never them. used it, no. <laughs> Uh, Meta is bringing AI to its designer glasses starting next month. Ray-Bans will be getting the makeover of the future. Uh, they will be able to translate and identify objects, animals, and monuments. The glasses will also respond with a simple, hey, Meta. All right, I looked in the dictionary. Vi- virality is the tendency of an image to be circulated rapidly, so that's that's for sure. All right. Your uh, task, then, is to use it in a sentence yeah. over the last uh, <laughs> next week or so. KFC is introducing another new item to their menu, Saucy Nuggets. They're launching five different flavors, and you can get 10 for $6 starting on Monday. All right. Uh, the futures, and again, the markets are closed today for Good Friday, but the futures are down across the board, not by much. The Dow off five, the S&P down four, the NASDAQ down this hour by 39, look at gold, though. It's up almost two full percentage points with a jump of $42.10 an ounce. If you're headed out to the car just now, you've got a good drive ahead of you. It's pretty quiet out there. We'll check traffic and weather together coming up next. When you use bounce dryer sheets and your clothes look amazing, it's the sheet. Less static in your life? Yeah, it's the sheet. Smelling fresher than ever? It's the sheet. Oh, so soft fabric? Ooh, la, la. It's the sheet. Less wrinkles on your clothes, you know it's the sheet. Bounce dryer sheets. More freshness, more softness. Less static, less wrinkles. It's the sheet. Save big during MVP's bonus days at Lowe's with limited time deals on everything you need. Right now, buy one select DeWalt 20-volt max tool. Get one DeWalt 20-volt max power stack battery two-pack free. A $179 value. Plus, save $20 on a select bucket of Deck Plus wood screws. Find these deals and more in-store and online today. Because Lowe's knows savings. Lowe's knows pros. Valid 318 through 329. While supplies last. Selection varies by location. 
artillery fire in Europe. Russia launching its biggest missile attack. Gunfire maims soldiers and civilians in the Middle East. Humanitarian crisis. And at home, we can barely stand in the same room. We've never been more divided. This spring, start over. The 194th Annual General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Starting next Saturday, in your car at 102.7 FM and 1160 AM, on every smart speaker, and streaming live on the app for KSL News Radio. KSL News Time 629, traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon, and here again is Andy Farnsworth. And right now, travel on I-15, still clear between Draper and downtown. Had some slowing on the collector from uh, 201 to go to 215 on the west side. It looks like that has cleared out uh, at this point. Don't have a lot on the city streets so far with the roads dry, but Big and Little Cottonwood Canyons have chains four-wheel drive restrictions in effect this morning. Jason? And no restrictions at all if you were up in uh, Weber and Davis counties. Even up into the canyons, you're still looking good. Uh, Weber, Ogden, and Sardine Canyons, they're moving smoothly in both directions. Likewise, I-15 north and southbound also at good speeds between Ogden and Salt Lake City. Eric? In Utah County, you're still looking at normal travel times on I-15. We don't have any delay spots anywhere from Santa Quinn Payson up to Thanksgiving Point. The major uh, city streets uh, throughout the county are also looking good. Provo Canyon, uh, despite uh, some uh, wet spots here and there, everything is moving quite well uh, going out to Heber City. Spring into performance with Jody Wilkinson's new Acura Integra A-Spec starting at 1.9 APR or at least for $349 monthly. Details text Acura to 57500. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. So is the rain gone for today? It looks like there's still a chance, so some of us might get a few sprinkles, but today's high will be 54 degrees. The same tomorrow, but a bigger chance of rain, both tomorrow and Sunday. Looks like we'll have rain for Easter weekend. And then it starts to warm up. Next week, we get a warm day on Tuesday up to near 60, 65 next Wednesday. Right now, it's 37 downtown. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time, 6:30. KSL's top story this hour: Little Sahara Recreation Area is expected to be packed with visitors again this Easter weekend, and locals, uh, locals that is, are paying quite the bill to make sure there's enough emergency workers around them. KSL News Radio's Adam Small is live with more. Adam. Amanda, Little Sahara on some years gets as many as 50,000 visitors for Easter weekend, so they bring out all the stocks to make sure everyone's safe. We stage our, our full EMS on site at the Sand Inn, and as well as our law enforcement and our, our search and rescue. Juab County Commissioner Clint Painter tells me they have an agreement to work alongside the BLM, but even after the federal help, the county still had to pay around $400,000 out of their own pocket to patrol Little Sahara throughout all of last year. Painter says while it is an expensive effort, they still want people to keep coming down. We love them to come. We want them to be here. We just want them to be safe. Reporting live, Adam Small, KSL News Radio. Feels a little too rainy and snowy to be Easter weekend, but KSL News Radio's Britt Johnson tells us this is actually pretty common. National Weather Service Science and Operations Officer David Church says our weather usually doesn't dry out until mid-May. We do get some stretches of nice weather like we did last week, but the chances of Easter falling on one of the good weather days is low. So while it may not look like an Easter greeting card outside, it is looking like a typical Utah spring day. This Sunday, we'll see rain in the valleys, more mountain snow, which could impact drivers going through mountain passes. Moab is another Easter hotspot in the state with thousands attending the annual Easter Jeep Safari. KSL News Radio's Alessandra Gurr reports. This year marks the 58th annual gathering for Jeep fans and owners down in southern Utah. The Safari is a nine day event that builds up to this weekend, which includes a giant vendor show and hundreds of Jeeps off roading along the 41 available trails. Jeep has built four new car concept cars for the Safari that will be unveiled in Moab. Have you ever been down there? No. Oh my gosh. Uh, what started out as this tiny gathering now is just massive, and they have a parade of all of these Jeeps that have been custom be retrofit. So cool. It really is uh, fun down there. All right, a push to charge international tourists more when they visit the national parks could help pay for billions of dollars in needed repairs. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston joins us live. Peter? Tim, it would cost around $23 billion to fix up the roads, buildings, and utilities at our national parks, according to a new report by the National Park Service. Utah's price tag would be almost half a million bucks. But one push as an alternative to using federal funding to address these fixes is to hike the costs of park attendance for international visitors. The Property and Environment Research Center has released a report saying this is common practice in other park systems worldwide, 
like a chimpanzee trek in Rwanda that costs foreigners 20 times more than locals. If the fee goes up 25 bucks for international visitors, revenue could almost double for all national parks. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories now. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie says he won't try another run against Donald Trump, this time as part of a third party unity ticket. It's another blow for the No Labels Party. KSL News Radio's political director Rick Klein has more. His team, I'm told, did some polling in more than a dozen states and, and ran the numbers and ran the math and ultimately concluded that first, they're not sure that no labels can actually get on the ballot enough places to make a difference. And you'd have to win in so many states, 20, 25 states, that it's almost an impossible climb. And in their estimation, the only thing a no labels candidate would do would be contribute to Donald Trump's election again. And that's exactly what Chris Christie said he wouldn't do. The No Labels Party is still trying to find a candidate for the 2024 election. Cryptocurrency mogul Sam Bankman-Fried has been sentenced for up to 20, uh, 25 years in prison for stealing money from hundreds of thousands of customers. The one-time king of crypto is off to federal prison for 25 years, although experts say that sentence could be cut in half with good behavior and by completing prison rehab programs. His lawyer, seeking a more lenient sentence, described Bankman Freed as an awkward math nerd, but his victims claim he was more calculating, one telling the judge he lost money I wanted to spend on a family home, another saying it was my life savings and now I'm left with nothing. ABC's Rhiannon Alley says getting the victims back their money will be complicated. First Look Traffic takes us over to you, Andy. Amanda, right now watching uh, the freeway, I-15 still looking good from Draper to downtown, but uh, so far coming south from uh, Davis County into Salt Lake City, you might see a little bit heavier traffic than you will in the valley, but nothing to add to your drive time just yet on the freeways. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. American journalist Evan Gershkovich has officially been in a Russian prison now for one year. For the last 365 days, Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich has been detained in Russia on espionage charges. The U.S. State Department says Gershkovich has been wrongfully detained. His mother, Ella, spoke with ABC News this week. You know that the U.S. government is taking Evan's case very seriously. So we are optimistic. The Wall Street Journal calling his numerous court hearings baseless proceedings and that he should have never been detained. A Russian court recently extending his pretrial detention until at least June 30th. Mark Remillard, ABC News. Two men are being charged for stealing thousands of dollars in baby formula here in Utah. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla reports. Prosecutors say two men from California stole thousands of dollars worth of baby formula from four different Macy's grocery stores in Utah County. And they tried to steal even more from stores in Centerville and Mill Creek. Police say the men kept a notebook of where, when, and how much formula was stolen. It's become a nationwide issue as the price of formula increases. Local law enforcement is encouraging stores to keep a close eye on all formula. Alexandria Bonia, KSL News Radio. The Princeton Review ranked the University of Utah's game development program as the best in the nation. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live with the details on that story. Michael. Tim, it's not a bad time to study game development, and over at the U, the program has seen major growth since it began in 2017. Students have the chance to build games from the ground up, and it goes beyond just entertainment. The program creates games for health, learning, and simulation, according to the Deseret News. It's all lent to the Princeton, it all lent to the Princeton, Princeton Reviews. The school's undergraduate program ranks number one and number two among worldwide public universities, and in both of these ranks were improvements from last year. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. Coming up in just a moment, I-15, 215, I-80, all look good this morning. We'll check traffic and weather together next. A legacy of news and information going back generations. I'll have the radio on. I learned that from my mom. She's listened to KSL her whole life, and I grew up listening to KSL radio, too. I really enjoy listening in the morning. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. The time has finally come. Royalty has returned to Utah. The Utah Royals are back. Join us as head coach Amy Rodriguez leads the charge along stars like Ali Sentnor, Imani Dorsey, Maddie Bogarch, and more. Plus, enjoy exclusive perks like discounts at the team store, early access to events, and more. Experience the thrill, the excitement, and the passion of professional women's soccer with the Utah Royals. Tickets are available now. Visit utahroyals.com. Did you know? 96% of Americans lose an average of $111,000 in Social Security income. And it's because they claim their benefits at the wrong time. Don't lose $111,000 in Social Security income. 
that's rightfully yours. Learn how you could wring every nickel out of your benefits on Retirement Solutions Radio this Saturday afternoon at 3 o'clock right here on KSL News Radio 1027. Hi, everyone. It's Congressman Blake Moore here. As I've listened to your concerns during my recent in-person and telephone town halls, one thing is clear. Utahns are concerned about border security. According to U.S. Customs and Border Protection, the Biden administration's policies have allowed for over 8.5 million encounters nationwide, including over 7 million at the southern border, more than ever before in American history. Record amounts of fentanyl have come through our borders and led to heartbreaking outcomes for families who have lost loved ones to overdoses. For the sake of our community's safety and national security, something must change. This is why House Republicans swiftly passed the Secure the Border Act of 2023 to strengthen our southern border with new technologies, increase the number of Border Patrol agents, end catch and release, and require transparency from the Department of Homeland Security. I will keep fighting to make first district communities safer, and I encourage you to sign up for my weekly e-newsletter and follow me on social media at Rep. Blake Moore to stay updated on my efforts. Paid for by official funds authorized by the House of Representatives. Looking forward tomorrow morning to uh, sharing an interview I had with the director of uh, tourism in Juab County. Mm. That's where Little Sahara is. Yeah, There could be fifty or 60,000 people down there this Easter weekend. Wow. What I did not know and that Adam Small is uh, following up on this morning is that they, that tiny county, actually foots the cost of all of the emergency management during this weekend. Mm. Uh, and... I mean, four hundred thousand dollars out of their budget. Wow! Which they don't get reimbursed for. It's uh, part of the story that uh, I think is way underreported. Anyway, we'll have more on that from Adam coming up this morning. Six thirty-nine now. Traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to twenty cents per gallon. And back to you, Andy. We've got some heavy traffic on State Street going north through uh, Murray right now, but uh, so far so good for most of the Salt Lake Valley. No extra delay along Mountain View yet. Uh, even at the lights uh, at 6200, 5400, and 3500 south. Tooele County, that looks great from Tooele City all the way on to the I-80 I freeway at Lake Point. Jason? No heavy traffic at all up north, although it's a bit busy at the west gate of Hill Air Force Base, but that's uh, really the only crowding that we've got going on. Volume remains light with not very many cars on the road at this point. Eric? If you're in Utah County, northbound I-15 from Provo and Orm up to uh, the uh, county line, that's all in great shape. Uh, heading out into the mountains, uh, I-80 through Parley's Canyon, we have seen some wet spots, uh, particularly up at the top of the summit, but uh, everything is moving along at a pretty decent rate of speed in the 215 East Belt for northbounders, no problems there. Studies show being in nature improves your mental and physical health. Can't get out of the city? Take a nature break at Tracy Aviary in Liberty Park. More information and tickets at tracyaviary.org. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. With our cold front now to the south, we'll go 54 degrees, mostly cloudy skies today, with a slight chance for showers as we work into the nighttime hours. Overnight, we'll dip off to 41, 54 tomorrow, with a chance for showers returning. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 37 degrees downtown. Coming up just a moment now, there are huge barges that are headed to that area uh, near the Key Bridge that are stacked with cranes that will help them get the bridge out of that river. Can you imagine? That that whole process is going to be wild to watch, isn't it? How many cranes will it take? We're going to learn more about that in just a moment on KSL. It is time now for Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, brought to you by the law offices of Jordan Wilcox. The number one journalist covering Silicon Valley has written a new autobiography, which should be interesting because Kara Swisher points out all of these tech bros hate her. Here's what Elon Musk said about her. My voice is so shrill, only dogs can hear me, and that my heart is seething with hate. So that's what Elon thinks of me. She knows Musk. In fact, Swisher has interviewed all of these guys and basically says they're full of it. Making noise about changing the world, but when you look behind the curtain, it's all about the money. She describes a bunch of brash young men who were lucky enough to make gazillions doing one thing, and now they think they're geniuses about everything. Little boy kings filled with self-loathing and crying that they're victims as they take their private jets to their armored cars, to their home office, on an island, and now these bros who bristle at the rest of us have created AI. 
Artificial intelligence. The creators are banking their billions while sneering at normal people, so call this irony. While their workplaces are rife with toxic behavior, it turns out that when you interact with ChatGPT or Microsoft Copilot, you get better answers if you're polite. That's according to a new research paper that basically says you're better off asking, would you like a spot of tea? Instead of, hey, knucklehead, write me a business plan. See, if you're shrill, AI will end up railing about Hitler or giving you crazy bad results. By the way, there is one tech giant that Kara Swisher respects, the late Steve Jobs, because he was curious about the rest of the world, the arts, literature, and us, not just himself. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Jordan Wilcox, IRS harassing you? The Law Offices of Jordan Wilcox can help. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. Hi, I'm Utah tax attorney Jordan Wilcox. When the IRS invades your life, it's never good news. My name is Jim. So I went through a difficult time with a divorce. Um, then the economy crashed. I was out of work. Combination of the way that my ex-wife was filing the tax returns caused mine to get rejected. And I found myself in a difficult situation that I didn't know how to get out of. Don't face the IRS alone. With everything in your life at stake, don't trust just anyone. I could not believe that it was even possible. I had hoped for something. Never dreamt in my wildest dreams he would get what he got. You need someone to fight for you. We owed 80300 and something, and I paid $1,000. Visit TaxHelpUT.com and get relief today. Let's solve your tax problems now. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. It was incredible. Do yourself a favor. Call Jordan Wilcox. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Plan your special evening out in one of Salt Lake's most unique dining experiences. Five Alls in Foothill. Five courses, five-star service and dining. FiveAlls.com. FiveAlls.com. KSL News Time, 645. The three things you need to know this hour. First, the national parks need $23 billion to pay for infrastructure repairs. One push is advocating for increasing fees for international visitors to help foot the bill. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johns. Second, two California men are facing charges for running a baby formula theft ring here in Utah. Third, it's traffic and weather together. Traffic on the freeways held up pretty well this morning. No crashes to report yet. Volumes have stayed light and even city streets right now. If you're out and about, and it doesn't look like a lot of people are, uh, you're going to be able to get your destination pretty quick. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Mostly cloudy with a high of 54 today, but rain returns tomorrow. I'm Matt Johnson. 37 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. With a look at our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. The largest cranes on the East Coast are right now in Baltimore Harbor are moving there to begin the long process of getting rid of the wreckage of the Key Bridge. Maryland Governor Wes Moore uh -huh. saying on Thursday that this stage of the cleanup will be paid for by the federal government. We submitted an initial $60 million request to the Biden-Harris administration for initial mobilization, operations, and debris recovery efforts. And I can report that as of this afternoon, the Biden-Harris administration has approved that request. Big fundraiser at Radio City Music Hall last night for President Biden. Former Presidents Clinton and Obama were there. Former President Trump on Long Island for the wake of a slain New York City police officer. Today marks exactly one year behind bars for Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich, arrested in Russia for spying, a charge his company, the Wall Street Journal, and the U.S. government strongly refute. This is ABC News. Let's go in depth here. Barges fitted with cranes are on their way to Baltimore to start the process of lifting the wreckage of the Francis Scott Key Bridge out of the water. We get an update on the investigation this morning from America in the Morning's John Stolness. Let us join together in a moment of silence for those who lost their lives in the tragedy at the Francis Scott Key Bridge early Tuesday morning. The sold-out crowd at Camden Yards in Baltimore observed a moment of silence prior to the first pitch of the Orioles' season opener against the Angels yesterday. Maryland Governor Wes Moore telling WMAR the bodies of two workmen believed to have been on the bridge when it collapsed have been recovered. We are thinking about the families of Dolian Castillo Cabrera and Maynard Suazo Sandoval. Eight workers had finished fixing potholes on the bridge and were waiting in their cars for the cement to dry when the ship crashed into the bridge, causing its collapse. Two were rescued on Tuesday. Officials say wreckage will need to be cleared before the other four can be reached from the insides of their cars. 
Moore says recovering from this tragedy will require everyone's help. We need every single Baltimorean and we need every single Marylander to join us in this work to rebuild this bridge and rebuild this city. And that work is happening as we speak. To that end, the Biden administration has approved $60 million in immediate federal aid, but more will be needed. The president is urging Congress to pass additional funds as quickly as possible. But some Republicans are reluctant to simply hand out the money. Republican Dan Musier telling Fox Business the president should cut funding for electrical vehicles in order to help pay for it. Yeah, it was kind of outrageous immediately for Biden uh, to uh, express in this tragedy the idea that he's going to use federal funds to pay for the in entirety. NTSB Marine Accident Investigator Marcel Muis says... The recovered black box showed things were not normal on board the ship just before it crashed into the bridge. Numerous audible alarms were recorded on the ship's audio, bridge audio. About the same time, VDR sensor data ceased recording. However, the VDR audio continued to record using the redundant power source. The closure of the Port of Baltimore means disruption that will be felt by thousands of dock workers and commuters and also potential shipping delays. I'm John Stolness. That's interesting. So we've been told it could be, you know, anywhere from three to five years mm-hmm. to rebuild this bridge. The interesting thing, the fascinating thing to me is going to be to see how they keep that port open while they mm-hmm. rebuild. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, with that period of time, obviously you don't want to leave the port shut down that long. Right. Right, and I wonder how long it'll take them just to clear the waterway so that traffic could get through. Yeah, it's amazing anybody came out of there alive. Those first two that they rescued are really an amazing story. Let's get a look at how the uh, drive is shaping up if you're headed in this morning. Traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Andy, how are we looking? Well, we've got a crash reported, or at least we did for a minute, on I-80 out uh, by the airport on the westbound side, but it's been cleared, and I don't see it. Traffic on I-15 has been great this morning from Draper to Salt Lake. It's been State Street. It's been a little bit heavy through Murray. And now just a little bit of slowing creeping in on Mountain View around 5400 South. Jason? Accident-free, delay-free, and regular travel times. If you are southbound I-15, you're going to be uh, just fine headed from Ogden down to Salt Lake City. The west side belt is clear as Legacy and 89 are also and looking good in the canyons up north as well. Eric? It's a nice drive this morning on US-40. Remember yesterday with that vehicle fire, how things got tied up and slowed down. But right now you're looking good northbound from Heber City up to the Park City area and all the way to I-80. I-15 Utah County, northbound, southbound, that's looking great. Is it winter? Is it spring? Well, who cares? Come explore Logan. Baby Animal Days Festival is happening now through April 6th. Mountain Man Rendezvous, live performances, skiing, snowmobiling, and more. ExploreLogan.com. Eric Butler and KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast starts out with mid-50s today with mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, chance for showers, 54. Easter Sunday looks like we've got valley rain, mountain snow, Maybe even some switch over to snow in the valleys, high of 52. Monday, 53, mostly cloudy skies. Going into Tuesday, hey, we bump it to 59, 65 by Wednesday, mostly sunny skies. Then partly cloudy with a high of 63 on Thursday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Right now it's 37 degrees in the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Well, if your brackets weren't busted before, they are now. (laughs) Alabama. (laughs) Hello. Yeah. Uh, Number four, Alabama knocks off uh, number one seed North Carolina last night. Uh, number two, Arizona also went down to Clemson. So look what that sets up. It's oh almost, my gosh, it's a football matchup. It's an old football matchup <laughs> between Clemson and Alabama. That's great. There'll be uh, four more games coming up tonight. Women, I think, are also back in action. Is that today or tomorrow? I'm not sure. Anyway, uh, just fun to be in the middle of March Madness oh, I love here. It. And those were definitely bracket busters last night. We'll check money news next. Steve, it's becoming one of the worst kept secrets in the Salt Lake Valley, and that's what is NPS? Yes. And that's a great place to go save money. And we've gotten a lot of flack about it, but sorry, we kind of want to share with everyone what great savings are available at the four different locations of NPS in Utah. Yeah, so they sell groceries at NPS, they sell merchandise at NPS, and they have industrial items at NPS. Just depends on where you go, but they're competitive on the groceries. They'll beat your price at the grocery store on just about anything. And everything else is 30 to 70% off, so you can't go wrong with that. No, and it's 30 to 70% off retail, and they're brand new items. That's the thing we have to make sure you understand. And then every once in a while, they'll do sales that they'll put another 30 
50% off of those to where you're paying a fraction of what you'd pay at retail stores. I love the industrial store because it's, it's kind of a discovery for me. Yeah, that's in Salt Lake at 1600 South Empire Road. They've also got locations in Layton, 1150 North Main, and Orem 475 North State. NPS. Transform your old, outdated kitchen with Half Price Granite. For a limited time, Half Price Granite is offering special pricing starting at $25 per square foot installed. That's lower than most big box stores. These prices are some of the lowest around. Granite, quartz, marble, and quartzite all starting at $25 per square foot installed. Call 801-486-1700 or visit halfpricegranite.com. Half Price Granite, affordable luxury. What's in your garden? Oakdale Organic Compost Nutrient-Rich Formula makes vegetables vegetables, flowers, trees, and lawns grow beautifully. No wonder it's the official compost of Thanksgiving Point. Visit Oakdale.com. Question, what will you find on all over-the-counter or OTC medicine packages to help you choose the right drug and use it safely? The answer, the drug facts label. This label lists the medicine's active ingredients and purpose, how much to take, and warnings you should know before using it. Remember, even OTC medicines you buy without a prescription can cause side effects you don't want. So follow the information listed on the drug facts label. For more information, visit FDA.gov slash drug facts label. A message from the U.S. Food and Drug Administration. Watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. If you're working from home and want a pay raise, you might want to consider getting back into the office. A survey from Zip Recruiter found that workers who returned to the office got a pay raise around $10,000 more than workers who stayed at home. Sun Chips is cashing in on the total eclipse in two weeks. This is this is the strangest promotion to me. They're going to be selling solar eclipse flavored chips. What does a solar eclipse taste like, you might be asking? <laughs> well, it tastes like pineapple, pineapple habanero and black bean spicy gouda. Of course it does. But there is a catch. They will only be selling these, <clears throat> excuse me, these flavors during the five minutes that the eclipse is in totality. You know, the more I think about that, the more I... Uh, am curious about the process behind the scenes. Are they making them to order? And that's got to be expensive oh, yeah. as far as the company goes. Are they mass producing them? And then what do they do with the leftovers if they're only selling them for five minutes? I think they di they're doing this to, because we did exactly what we just did, which is do a story Talk about, about Sun Chips. So yeah. they got free advertising. Probably not worried about selling them. No. The U.S. economy grew at a solid 3.4% annual pace from October through December. That's better than the government thought. The total output of goods and services dropped, uh, dropping from its 4.9% rate of expansion in the July-September quarter. Today, the markets are closed for Good Friday, but the futures, you know, the trading continues. Let's find out what's going on. The Dow futures are off just five, basically unchanged. S&P the same, down four. The Nasdaq futures off 39, which is about two-tenths of a percent. I-15, the 215 belt route, uh, all the sides of I-80 are all uh, running without delays starting out this morning drive. That's good news. Traffic and weather together in two minutes. Derek Overstreet, founder of the New Millennium Group. We're a financial planning firm. Listen, we're fiduciaries. We have advisors standing by right now to take your call. That's 888-999-6370, 888-999-6370. The reason you're going to want to call is we're going to help you retire three to five years before you thought possible. Now, imagine how that would be if you could actually retire three to five years sooner than your plan was. The way we do this is by putting together a step-by-step -step plan, taking into consideration any rental properties that you have, any pension income that you have, your social security. Listen, we put that all together for you in writing. It will allow us to, to build your income based on inflation. You know, inflation has been rapidly rising. You and I both need a plan that whatever we start out our income at, in five or 10 years, we're going to need 40% more income. So if you're one of those people listening and you'd like a plan in writing, give us a call at 888-999-6370. That's 888-999-6370 or go to utahsfinancialplanner.com. Business, it's all the things that keep this world turning. And behind every one of these companies is a partner helping to keep it all moving. It's why the local flower shop and your favorite pizza joint, the startup and the stadium, hospitals and hotels, banks and restaurants nationwide, all choose the advanced network, cybersecurity solutions, and round-the-clock trusted partnership from Comcast Business, the company that powers more businesses than anyone else. Comcast Business, powering possibilities. See why Comcast Business powers more small businesses than anyone else. 
Get started with fast speeds and advanced security for $49.99 a month for 12 months with a two-year contract. Plus, ask how to get up to an $800 prepaid card with a qualifying internet package. Don't wait. Call or go online to switch today. Ends 5524. Restrictions apply. New customers only with 50 megabits per second internet and security edge. Eagle Bill and auto pay required. Equipment, taxes, and fees extra. Visit the contest page on kslnewsradio.com. This week, win tickets to see the Utah Symphony perform Dvorak's Violin Concerto, March 29th and 30th at a Bravino Hall. Plus, win tickets to an upcoming Real Salt Lake match. We're here for RSL. Or win tickets to see comedian Jim Gaffigan on the Barely Alive Tour, coming in October to the Eccles Theater. It's all there. Text the word CONTEST to 57500 or go to kslnewsradio.com slash contests. 659 Traffic and Weather Together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And back to you, Andy. Well, we've got traffic on I-15 that's increasing in volume, but so far no delays in through the Salt Lake Valley. In fact, uh, most of our major northbound streets, Mountain View, Bangor, or Redwood, that we keep a close eye on, have been lighter than usual. State Street's been the one that seemed a little bit busier going north from Midvale into Murray. Uh, coming out of Tooele, SR36, starting to see traffic backing up a little bit in Stansbury Park near the turnoff to Zoo, uh, Grantsville. Jason? Well, I know as you were headed out the door this work this morning, you were thinking, man, what I really want is some delays. I'm sorry I cannot help you out there. As if you are up in Weber and Davis counties, there just aren't any. Southbound I-15 is looking fantastic from Ogden to Salt Lake City. The only crowding we've got is at the west gate of Hill Air Force Base. Eric? Normal movement in Utah County. Don't have any accidents or slowdowns. Uh, you've got a 24-minute drive in front of you if you're getting onto the freeway in Spanish Fork and going up to the county line. I was seeing a little bit more activity on Redwood Road in Saratoga Springs, but uh, no delays so far heading north up to 2100 North or to Camp Williams. Studies show being in nature improves your mental and physical health. Can't get out of the city? Take a nature break at Tracy Aviary in Liberty Park. More information and tickets at tracyaviary.org. Eric Butler on the KSL Traffic Center. 54 today, 54 tomorrow. The difference, we go from a 20 to an 80% chance of rain that'll stay right there through Easter. It's 37 in Salt Lake City. KSL FM Midvale. KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio. Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. It's 7 o'clock on Utah's Morning News. Good morning, I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story on the 7 o'clock report. We've been closely following a string of hit and runs around the Salt Lake Valley with one man being charged for four of them. This morning, KSL News Radio has exclusively obtained footage of another Salt Lake City woman hit by a car while out for a jog in the avenues. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera begins our team coverage. It was the morning of March 12th. A doorbell cam facing T Street in the Avs caught a woman walking, suddenly hit by a white car, flinging her from the street onto a sidewalk lawn. Three witnesses came running, one of them being Christian McRae. It was a really loud crash. I mean, it sounded like something at a construction site. And I looked over and I saw a lady on the ground over there, just laying on the ground. I really immediately knew a hit and run had happened. And I was expecting a dead person. But she was responsive when he found her. This comes after the four hit and runs on FAM is being charged for, but Salt Lake PD have yet to confirm a connection. You can see the exclusive footage on kslnewsradio.com and our socials. Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. That man charged in the other hit and runs is going to be back in court today. KSL News Radio's Adam Small continues our live team coverage. Adam? Tim Ong family back in front of a judge this morning regarding a bond. As of today, the Salt Lake County DA has charged him with six counts of attempted murder between four different hit and runs in the Salt Lake Valley. The first one in, on happened on Salt Lake City's west side in August. He's then accused of running down a woman in Sandy last month, then two women just days later in Sugar House. He's also accused of hitting a 20-year-old woman on North Temple just a couple of weeks ago. That was just two days before his arrest. Live Adam Small, KSL News Radio. A man behind two standoffs with federal agents that gained national attention could be hiding in Utah to escape a verdict against him in Idaho. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston has more. Peter? Amanda, M and Bundy made headlines in 2014 and 2016 for organizing mass standoffs against the Bureau of Land Management and other federal groups. Now he owes an Idaho hospital $50 million as part of a harassment lawsuit, but he appears to have left Idaho and might be staying in Washington County, Utah. Bundy tells an independent investigative group called Bellingcat that, quote, 
At any time, peace officers could find me if they wish. I pray that Utah has a stronger sense to protect free speech than Idaho does. Bundy has disappeared from Idaho following the verdict against him, and Bellingcat was able to use videos that he posted to locate him in Iron and or Washington counties. One of the clues was that he was driving down a road that had a sign that was easy to locate as a South Utah stretch of I-15. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories is our massive cranes are arriving in Baltimore to lift the wreckage of that bridge collapse. ABC's Perry Russum is in Baltimore for us this morning. Two people survived an estimated 185-foot fall into the water. The wife of one of them saying, my husband doesn't know how to swim. It's a miracle he survived, but her family is still in mourning. She says her brother-in-law was one of the workers killed. At the Baltimore Orioles game yesterday, three police officers honored for saving lives by shutting down the bridge in the moments before it collapsed, preventing an even larger disaster. Four men still presumed dead and trapped under that wreckage. Two women pulled over earlier this week in Weber County want some answers. After, at first, they thought they were being pulled over by a police impersonator. KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson explains. The two, Taylor and Virginia, tell KSL 5 they were driving home when they were followed by an SUV, then eventually stopped. One of the officers was dressed in full SWAT tactical gear. Like with like helmet, goggles, flashlight. The reason turned out to be a minor traffic violation, but after their driver's licenses were checked, they were let go. Roy police say the officer was not one of theirs, but is a Clinton police officer assigned to U.S. Marshal duties, which is the reason he was dressed in tactical gear. The two plan to go to Clinton Police Headquarters today to file a complaint. They say they were not sufficiently shown officer badges or IDs. Mark Jackson, KSL News Radio. Just a heads up for anyone using West Temple at 200 South in downtown starting on Monday. Dominion Energy is closing the intersection to replace a natural gas line. The closure will last from April through mid-May. All east to west and north to southbound traffic lanes will be closed. However, in order to access businesses and parking garages, you will be able to make right turns only. Traffic will be detoured and work will take place between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Monday through Friday. Weekend work will take place on occasion. During construction, pedestrian routes and crossings will be cleared of obstructions. Reduce speeds while driving near the work zone. Near Nearby residents and businesses can expect increased noise, dust, and vibrations. Tammy Kikuchi, KSL News Radio. KSL Weather with Matt Johnson. This week's storm has already dropped an impressive amount of rain with more on the way. Now, granted, some of this fell as snow, so we'll call it water totals, about a half inch for Sandy. Fillmore with 44 hundredths. Delta, Salt Lake City, Provo, all around a quarter of an inch. Logan picked up 31 hundredths and Ogden with 18 hundredths. Now, this uh, cold front that moved through yesterday is stalled out over central Utah. Matt says we could see some isolated showers tonight, but we'll see more valley rain and mountain snow over Saturday and Sunday. Just got my ski report. Alta got eight in the last 24 and uh, Brighton got 13. First look traffic on the 7 o'clock report back to Andy Farnsworth. Tim, so far I-15 yet to see any significant backup says the light. The traffic's been pretty light uh, early on this morning. It's filling in a little bit in Utah County along Redwood Road, along Pioneer Crossing in the usual areas. Uh, but Bangor Mountain View doing better than usual and haven't seen any real delays approaching the freeway in Davis County. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. We're following a developing story this morning on KSL. A man is in custody this morning after police say he barricaded himself for hours overnight inside a Salt Lake City apartment. Police say he had threatened to harm a woman in the apartment. They successfully talked him out and arrested him. A car theft in West Valley City led to a wild chase, ending in a fire and an arrest. Police Lieutenant M.T. Johnson says a food delivery driver uh, pursued the thief after confronting him. He followed that car as it drove down Redwood Road and then got on the freeway. As he was following on the freeway, the car rolled. And the car caught on fire and, and burned here on the freeway. Johnson says people should try and get a plate number or vehicle description of criminals, but he adds leave the pursuits to police officers. Eight officers who work in prisons in Georgia are now under arrest for running a huge contraband network. It's the largest criminal operation of its kind in Georgia history, say state prisons investigators, including Greg Phillips. We stopped uh, roughly 170 prison drops. And? We did electronic interceptions uh, on Mr. Robert Schwartz, his business here at Thunder Drones, and uh, inmates and associates of inmates. Schwartz, one of those charged. Most of our business is consumer business. State officials say 87 drones, loads of meth, 
ecstasy, plus hundreds of cell phones and 22 weapons were seized. Chuck Sievertson, ABC News. Inflation has hit American families hard, even though the stock market is having a great year. It's good news for your 401k, already up an average of 19% last year. But the downside? The high cost of everything from housing and cars to groceries is prompting a record number of Americans to dip into their 401ks to pay their bills. Despite a booming stock market, a recent poll found 40 percent of registered voters think the economy is worse now than a year ago. ABC's Allison Kosick. Uh, this quarter has been the stock market's best since 2019. Just into the KSL newsroom, actor Louis Gossett Jr. has died. Now, why would a slick little hustler like you want to sign up for this kind of abuse anyway? I want to fly jets, sir. My grandmama wants to fly jets. That's from the movie uh, An Officer and a Gentleman, where Gossett Jr. became the first black man to win the Best Supporting Actor Oscar. Shoot. He was 87. Oh, I loved him. A uh, migratory bird that lands on the shores of the Great Salt Lake is in danger of going extinct. Scientists say the future of Wilson's phalaropes relies on the health of the Great Salt Lake. How do you protect Wilson's phalarope? You protect Great Salt Lake. You protect the water going into the lake. You raise those rake, lake levels back to ecologically sustainable levels. That's how we save Wilson's phalarope. Patrick Donnelly from the Center for Biological Diversity told an enthusiastic crowd of people at the Capitol Thursday that they submitted a petition to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to protect Wilson's phalarope under the Endangered Species Act. The small wading bird migrates from South America and 60% of them stop at the Great Salt Lake on their way north for breeding season. Heather Peterson, KSL News Radio. This weekend's Powerball jackpot has increased to $935 million. The Powerball jackpot has been growing for months since the last winter on New Year's Day. A player in New Jersey won a $1.13 billion Mega Millions prize Tuesday night. I'm always confused. There's more than one of these, right? I guess so. Because we had a billion dollar winner Just a couple, yeah. on a single ticket. Here's another one that said a billion dollars. I don't keep no. track of them. <laughs> we, we can't play. KSL News Time 709. Time for us to get a look at traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. It not only looks like freeway speed, Andy, but it looks light this morning. Yeah, it's finally light in the sky, light traffic on the freeway, roads are dry, all that's good. And so the people who are out and about this morning enjoying uh, excellent travel times. If you're going to go into bigger little Cottonwood Canyons, those are both open, although they do still have chains four-wheel drive restrictions in effect. Jason? All good up in Weber and Davis County. 70-plus miles an hour going to greet you as you head out the door on I-15, both north and southbound between Ogden and Salt Lake City. Likewise, regular speeds on Legacy West Side Belt and 89. Eric? In Utah County, we're looking sharp as well, uh, no, normal travel times throughout, and that includes the uh, city streets. Uh, we are starting to see a little bit more activity on 2100 North between 2300 West and the freeway if you're eastbound coming out of Lehigh and Saratoga Springs. U.S. 40 along the Wasatch Back, no problems there. The Easter Bunny is at the Jordan Landing Shopping Center. Bring the family through March 30th to visit the Easter Bunny. Professional photos for purchase. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL hourly forecast. We've got cloudy skies with temperatures in the mid 30s at 7 a.m. with a couple of sprinkles out there for some. Into the lunch hour, cloudy skies, 47 the temperature. End of this afternoon, might even see some peaks of sunshine, high of 54. We'll call it mostly cloudy. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. We're calling it mostly cloudy right now, 37 degrees. Godzilla and Kong are going at it again. Oh my goodness. In a theater near you. <laughs> Didn't they already go through this? I thought so. Uh, we'll talk to Andy Farns, but just ahead. Men's NCAA Sweet 16 games had some big upsets last night. Fourth seeded Alabama knocked off North Carolina, a number one seed. Six seeded Clemson defeated number two seed Arizona. UConn and Illinois also won their games to advance to the Elite Eight. The rest of the Sweet 16 games will take place tonight. The season is quickly winding down for the Utah Jazz. They'll be hosting the Rockets tonight at 7.30. You'll hear that game right here on KSL News Radio. Looking to put an end to a seven-game losing streak. After tonight, the Jazz only have eight games left before the season wraps up. Well, you can call them the national champions, not on the court, but still on the turf. <laughs> the BYU landscaping team uh, brought home the collegiate top prize. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live with that story. Michael. Tim, this is the fifth time BYU took home the gold against 50 other college teams. 
Events include exterior designing, business management, and irrigation troubleshooting, among others. Now, both I and KSL-TV talked to student news, uh, student landscapers and faculty advisors. Phil Allen, who teaches planting landscape systems, says landscaping is one of the university's strong suites. BYU has a great product of students that can design, create, install, and manage the world's most beautiful man-made landscapes. At the end of the day, the title came with a career opportunities and a $6,000 grand prize. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. The White House will host the annual Easter egg roll on Monday. Some 40,000 people are anticipated to be on the South Lawn for the Easter egg roll, 10,000 more than last year, as the White House continues an old tradition. It began a long time ago, 1878. The first president who did so was a guy named Rutherford B. Hayes. Presidents since have followed. I want to welcome you to the White House today. Welcome to your house. Happy Easter! There's the actual rolling of the eggs. On your mark, get set. This year, Jill Biden's continuing her educational theme, what she calls education, with various stations helping kids learn about farming, healthier eating, exercise, and more. Sagar Magani, Washington. Trending this hour on the 7 o'clock report, Beyonce, I think it was midnight last night, officially released her first country album. Act two, Cowboy Carter features 27 songs. Now, she insists this is not a country album. And I've seen. Of course, it's a country album. I've seen some of the responses. There are 27 songs on here, and not all of them are country. And some of her fans are saying, this is not country. Uh, so well, that Jolene's definitely country. Definitely country. And the ones uh, we've heard already were country for sure. But the original singer, Dolly Parton, says she's excited to hear it. Other artists featured on the album include Miley Cyrus, Willie Nelson, Post Malone, and Beyonce's six-year-old daughter. Part of the Ogden Twilight Concert Series lineup has been released. Grammy Award-winning rapper Killer Mike will be performing with indie band Hippocampus. DJ Diplo is also slated to perform sometime during the concert series. I'm impressed those names just rolled off your tongue <laughs> like that. KSL News Time 715. <laughs> The three things you need to know this hour. First, KSL News Radio obtained exclusive footage of a Salt Lake City woman going for a walk in the avenues that was struck by a white car that flees the scene. I'm KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera. Second, Juab County will be spending hundreds of thousands of dollars to take care of all the people heading there for the Easter weekend. Third, it's traffic and weather together. Traffic has held up really well on the freeways so far with no crashes to report yet. Going into Big or Little Cottonwood Canyons, you'll have to use Chain's four-wheel drives this morning. At least that's the restriction that's still in effect right now. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Our cold front is stalled out in central Utah. We'll keep it dry for the Wasatch. I'm Matt Johnson. 37 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. With a check of our top national stories. From ABC News. I'm Sherry Preston. A crane capable of lifting two million pounds at a time has now arrived at Baltimore's Key Bridge. The piece of steel, now at the bow of the Dali cargo ship, however, weighs roughly nine million pounds, so engineers will need to figure out how and where to cut the steel to reduce any further damage. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze on the scene says all of the cleanup for now is being paid for by the feds. The federal government released $60 million in emergency funding that will serve as a down payment to cover the immediate costs of reopening the port. It is just the first step of what will be a costly and time-consuming effort that will ultimately take years to rebuild. The EPA is out this morning with pollution standards for heavy duty vehicles. ABC's Andy Field takes a look at the new rules. The Environmental Protection Agency's new emission standards will affect everything from freight trucks to buses made starting three years from now. EPA says those trucks and other heavy duty vehicles create about 25 percent of the transportation pollution. On top of cutting a billion tons of those gases, the EPA estimates it will save Americans 13 billion dollars in health bills, truck operator expenses, and protecting the environment. Last night, President Biden, alongside former presidents Clinton and Obama, took part in a $25 million fundraiser at New York's Radio City Music Hall. The event, however, interrupted several times by pro-Palestinian protesters, says ABC's Mary Bruce. In response to those interruptions, President Biden said there have been too many innocent victims, that more aid needs to get into Gaza.
Plaza, and he highlighted his support for a two-state solution. But despite these protests, the Biden campaign hopes this sold-out event will help energize the Democratic Party. On New York's Long Island last night, former President Trump attended a service for slain NYPD officer Jonathan Diller. The former president attended the wake for Diller, but also used it as an opportunity to call for a crackdown on violent crime, telling reporters the country has got to get back to law and order. You're listening to ABC News. All right, Godzilla X Kong, the uh, new empire, is the big movie this weekend. Something is coming. Something even they're afraid of. Host of the movie show, Andy Farnsworth, joins us live. Did you like it, Andy? Uh, I mean, kind of, yeah. <laughs> so here's really? the thing. Not here's really. the thing. All right. For, I, I, if, we don't even know what it's called. Is it Godzilla X Kong, Godzilla Times Kong, Godzilla 10 Kong? We can't figure it out. But what we have is uh, the one of the loudest movies I've seen in a long, long time. Uh, Warner Brothers rolling out another massive team up between two massive creatures. Uh, and guess what they fight? Well, they basically fight an evil King Kong and a creature that looks a lot like Godzilla but shoots ice instead of fire from its mouth. So you get... Lots of noisy destruction, lots of roaring, punching, roaring, grunting, pyramids getting <laughs> toppled, and roaring, sandwiched around what I actually thought was a decent attempt to kind of continue to build this world that exists in the center of our own planet. Look, the human character's secondary in this without question, but you know what? You're watching this for massive battles between massive monsters, and whatever else is wrong with the movie, at least it delivers those fights as big as you'd hope. And I, you know, it deserves to be seen on a very large screen. Haven't these two gone through this before? So, and, and did one die at the end of the last one? No. Okay. I mean, they have gone through it before, but they no one of them did. They went back to their corners, and the referee said, They fought said, to we'll a draw, this. basically. Yeah. yeah. And so then King Kong went to the center of the earth, and Godzilla stayed up on the surface. And they do explain all this in the movie, believe it or not. But one drawback from these, and we'll talk about it more on the movie show, is... They have to fight in the real world or else you lose the scale of how big they are. Because once they go down into, like, the center of the earth, then everything is massive, and then they're just, like, look like regular size monsters. <laughs> and you want big monsters. You have taught I mean, me they out lay of this waste. One. They lay waste to the pyramids of Egypt. I mean, it's, it's big. Okay, I don't Some know Some people love this stuff. Some people... Love this. They're like, this is better than every superhero movie I've ever seen. Really? That's what some people say. No, these are fans, by the way. I don't I don't think I've heard a critic say that. <laughs> so the answer for Amanda is Aiden would love this. Yes, and I took my 10-year-old, and he loved it. Oh, God, I was hoping I'd be able to talk about <laughs> this one. <laughs> <laughs> and it, it, is fun. It, what, when seen, it, it is what it is. Like, you're not going to see this and then surprised that there was not that much of a story. You're going to see the big fights, and they do the big fights really well. All right, okay. so Mama's stuck with going to watch. This thing this oh, week. Sorry, man. That's okay. <laughs> Where are you guys going to be today? We are going to be at uh, NPS in Layton today from uh, from eleven to one. And if you haven't seen that store, it's so nice. Awesome. We'll be listening for sure. But right now, put your other hat on. Traffic and weather together. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to twenty cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, travel through the valley has been great this morning. In fact, we haven't had any delays on the freeway pop up. Uh, I-15, 215, or the 21st South Freeway so far. So those of you who are out and about this morning, and it doesn't look like there's a lot of people out and about this morning, uh, you're enjoying the full speed limit through Salt Lake County. Jason? We remain accident-free and drama-free up north. If you are southbound on I-15, still should be about 29 to 30 minutes of travel time between Ogden and Salt Lake City. Likewise, good speeds remain on 89 Legacy and the West Side Belt. Uh, even the crowding we had at the uh, west gate of Hill Air Force Base has mostly subsided. Just a few leftover cars there. Everything else is moving smoothly. Eric? Starting to see a little bit of delay getting into Park City if you're heading into town from US-40. That's westbound on Kearns Boulevard, SR-248. Uh, but that's about the only uh, delay spot I'm seeing at the moment uh, in the uh, mountains on the Wasatch Bank. I-80 through Parley's Canyon is looking good. And down Utah County, I-15 still moving along at a normal pace from Provo to Lehigh. For over 30 years, Replenish Landscape has delivered the finest compost for flower and vegetable gardens. Replenish is perfect to till into existing soil or top dressing even for your lawn. Learn more at replenishcompost.com. Eric Butler on the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast, 54 today, mostly cloudy skies. 54 tomorrow with a chance for showers. Better rain chances on Sunday, high of 52. Mostly cloudy skies on Monday, 53. Full-blown sunshine with high pressure moving in on Tuesday, 59. We bump it up to 65 by Wednesday, mostly sunny skies. 
Thursday, partly cloudy and 63. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. 37 degrees downtown, the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Hey, it's Friday. Happy Friday to you. Same to you. (laughs) It's a good Friday. It's good Friday. Yes, a a special Friday. And it's going to be extra special for one of our listeners, Tim, because we're going to send somebody with two lower bowl seats to see the jazz game tonight. Yeah, now you know already, you just text the word jazz, J-A-Z-Z, to 57500, and you'll get your name in for tickets that we're going to be giving away. But we'll have another opportunity coming up. Right, so be listening at 845 this morning. We'll give you a second word and then you text that in for a second chance to win those tickets today coming up money news our news time is 722 this is derek miller speaking on business as it celebrates its 40th anniversary in 2024 arup laboratories remains one of utah's largest and fastest growing life sciences companies ceo andy tire joins us with more. 40 years ago, a group of University of Utah pathologists acted on a dream to create a clinical laboratory that offers complex testing to hospitals throughout the region. Never could they have imagined that we'd become one of the nation's four largest reference laboratories with a menu of over 3,000 tests and clients in every state. Today, AREP, a nonprofit enterprise of the U, employs nearly 5,000 people and tests up to 100,000 specimens each day. We offer advanced tests of genetics, immunology, infectious disease, toxicology, and more. Our Institute for Research and Innovation in Diagnostics and Precision Medicine leads the way in the development of digital pathology, artificial intelligence-enabled diagnostic solutions, and other advanced tests to improve patient care. Having survived the test of time, AREP is thriving. We anticipate many more years as a key contributor to Utah's economy. You can learn more at AREPlab.com. In addition to providing a vital health care service, ARUP is a perennial recipient of the Utah Business Best Companies to Work For Award for its commitment to work-life balance and excellent benefits, including an on-site daycare center and a free health clinic for employees. I'm Derek Miller with the Salt Lake Chamber, speaking on business. Well, hello, it's me again. And like me, I'll bet you're ready for spring in a little green lawn again. I've got a tip. Don't spend a fortune hiring a lawn care company. Save some money and do it yourself. And here's how. Go to J&J Garden Center in Layton and purchase their simple, color-coded five-step fertilizer system that covers up to 10,000 square feet and will rejuvenate your lawn for just $199.98. And nobody beats J&J's price. So for a lush, healthy, green lawn, come and try J&J Garden Center's five-step fertilizer system. I promise you won't regret it. Take the Leighton Parkway exit, Main Street to Gentile, then with two miles, you've got to see it to believe it. You really do. Country grown to your home, J&J Garden Center. Watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Mortgage rates could be cut in the near future, but right now they're holding steady at 6.9%. The Federal Reserve expects as many as three, yes, interest rate cuts this year. Yeah, we're never going to see 3.25 again. That's why we're holding tight to the one we have. Yeah. But, you know, I'll take anything at this point. (laughs) Yeah, settling into the five sounds more uh, like where we're headed. The uh, first major health insurers will start covering weight loss drug Wagovi for certain people on Medicare. But there's a catch. It's only for people with heart-related conditions. It's taken so long for the insurers to cover it because of the cost. Users have been paying more than $1,000 a month for the medication. KSL Drive's Infinity Nissan's luxury line is working on a way to wirelessly take a phone call without passengers hearing it. How, how could that be? How, unless you had headphones in. I don't know. The idea is that your passengers will get to keep hearing the radio or music playing without the person on the under end of the line hearing it. It could be on the market as soon as next year. They, they, you'd have to have head, earbuds in, right? Yeah, I or don't would know. they be able to just make sound come to one little space and not the other? That doesn't make sense. And the concentration of that story is on the passenger. What about the driver who's trying to carry on a conversation with, yeah. with, with somebody on the phone? I have no problem saying, turn the radio down. Yeah. yeah. Um, mar- markets are closed today because it is Good Friday this Easter weekend, but uh, there is some movement on the future, slight movement. 
The Dow down five, the S&P is down four, and the NASDAQ off about 39 points. We're just looking at the traffic cameras. Everybody is zippity doo dah. No problems out there on the, <laughs> the freeways. Yeah, it's Friday. We'll get a look at traffic and weather coming up next. When we have a need at our house, whether that's plumbing, uh, whether that's heating and air, and for Amanda, there are a lot of other reasons at your house, including your standby home generator, there is only one place that we turn, and that is Superior Water and Air. Look, our homes are our most, in most of our cases, you know, our most valuable asset. And like you were saying, we we're staying in our home, so many of us because of the interest rate, yeah. that we need to take good care of it and take care of all of the expensive machinery in the home. How often do you get your car? Uh, oil change on your car. You know, you do that every how many thousand miles. When was the last time you gave a, a little update to your air conditioner or your furnace? This is the way I, I've made those pieces of equipment last years longer than they should have because I have them checked every year. And by the way, at my house, that's two air conditioners and two furnaces. And so when we went through the replacement process, you were knocking on the door $20,000. Oh, man. So you only have to go through that once in your life. And then you decide, yeah, maybe we should do you know, maintenance. some more regular maintenance on it. Uh, and of course, they've told us in the past they with uh, without doubt have replaced more water heaters <laughs> in utah oh, yeah. than anybody else they put uh, our uh, tankless water heater in which i absolutely love so now i'm not i'm not heating two big huge things of water all day that nobody's using i just heat water on demand it saves a lot of energy lots of ways they can help your family today so keep the number handy 801-974-9090 or go to superiorwaterandair.com America's pastime is hitting the field. KSL has a roster of all-stars to welcome the season. Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon with breaking news from 5 to 9. Dave and DeGenovic and Boyd Matheson have analysis and talk all day. And there's Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News on the way home. Your bullpen is loaded on KSL News Radio. KSL News Time 729. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Back to you, Andy. Well, right now, if you're traveling through the valley, I-15, uh, starting to see some heavier traffic coming up past 106th and a little bit near 33rd South, but it, it isn't going to add any to, to your 20-minute travel time through uh, Salt Lake County. It is slowing a little bit. Bangor, though, near 4700 South and uh, then a little bit on the 201 freeway uh, as you pass 5600 West. Jason? A little busy right now north and southbound on Hillfield Road, but uh, that's a little bit far away from the south gate of Hill Air Force Base, so you shouldn't have to worry too much about it. West Gate is looking much better now, and I-15 still rolling smoothly at regular speeds. Eric? No problems in Utah County. It's a 22-minute drive from Springville up to Point of the Mountain. We are seeing a little bit more activity at some of the stoplights on 800 North from the mouth of Provo Canyon over past State Street if you're westbound over to I-15. But overall, it's a pretty good picture uh, in Utah County and uh, US-40 along the Wasatch Pack. No troubles like we had yesterday, but still your usual slowing getting into Park City westbound on Kearns Boulevard. SNS Roofing is your trusted source for quality and and affordability. They've been the top roofing company in Utah for over 40 years. Schedule an estimate now. Get a free quote at snsroofinginc.com. Eric Butler on the KSL Traffic Center. And the weather forecast says a high of 54 today, a few clouds, tomorrow more rain. Rain for the Easter weekend. We'll have rain Saturday and Sunday, but next week we get back up into the mid-60s. Right now it's 37 downtown. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning, KSL News Time, 7.30. KSL's top story this hour. The Little Sahara Sand Dunes are expected to be packed with people for Easter weekend, and the county is forking over a pretty penny to make sure people are safe. KSL News Radio's Adam Small begins our live Easter weekend team coverage. Adam? Amanda, Little Sahara on some years gets as many as 50,000 people visiting for Easter weekend. Now, while it's technically BLM land, the county has an agreement with the feds to chip in. Juab County Commissioner Clint Painter tells me throughout all of 2023, though, even with federal help, they had to dish out just shy of $400,000 to help people at Little Sahara. All the additional costs that you're seeing, you know, that I've, that I've mentioned are coming on the backs of our of our taxpayers here in Jug County. Painter says while it's expensive, they definitely still want people to keep coming down. He just says do what it takes to be safe, go easy on the alcohol, and of course, clean up on your way out. Live Adam Small, KSL News Radio. Not going to be a sunny or warm Easter weekend for parts of Utah, but KSL News Radio's Britt Johnson says 
It's actually pretty common. This time of year, Utah tends to get its last inches added to the snowpack, and valley rain is more common than not. National Weather Service Science and Operations Officer David Church says the chances of Easter falling on one of the good weather days is low. Well, it doesn't mean that we can't have nice weather this time of year. You know, we've seen even in the last uh, week or two, we've had some nice sunny days into the mid-60s. But uh, we just don't tend to get large stretches of that this time of year. While it's good for Utah drought conditions, it's not so good for Easter egg hunts. And if you're traveling into higher elevations, plan accordingly because you could run into winter road conditions. Britt Johnson, KSL News Radio. Moab is also an Easter hotspot in the state, with thousands taking part in the annual Easter Jeep Safari. KSL News Radio's Alessandra Gurr reports. The Easter Jeep Safari began as a one day event with only a few drivers back in 1967. Now, 58 years later, the Safari is a nine day event with nearly 50 rideable trails and thousands of visitors each year. Jeep built four new concept cars for the Easter Safari that will officially be unveiled in Moab. The cars are built with inspiration from the Jeep Wrangler, Wagoneer, and Gladiator models. Alessandra Gurr, KSL News Radio. The nation's national parks need billions of dollars in repairs, and one idea to fund them is to charge international visitors an extra fee. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with the details. Peter? Tim, deteriorating roads and buildings are a few of the things that ring up a $23.3 billion repair fee for the U.S. national parks. The current funding plan is an annual chunk of just over a billion dollars. But some groups are proposing bulking up fees for international visitors to have more money to spend on these fixes. A study by the Property and Environment Research Center shows a $25 add-on to a ticket for an international tourist could almost double the earnings of all national parks in, uh, every year. Raising it to 40 bucks could bring in almost $530 million extra dollars. Reporting live, Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories now. The Biden campaign got an assist from two former presidents during a major funding event last night in New York City. President Biden flanked by former presidents Obama and Clinton, asking supporters on a conference call to ask others to contribute to his campaign. What have we done that affects your life that caused you to think it was important for you to contribute 20 bucks to this campaign? Tell that to your neighbors. That call kicked off a massive New York celebrity-packed Biden fundraiser, where the president says 97% of his campaign money has come from $200 or less donations. Andy Field, ABC News. Cryptocurrency mogul Sam Bankman-Fried has been sentenced to 25 years in prison. FTX was the premier crypto exchange, but it collapsed in late 2022 after Bankman-Fried used billions in customer funds to keep his hedge fund Alameda Research afloat. Even if victims do get their money back, many cryptocurrencies at the time of FTX's collapse would be worth considerably more today. Bitcoin's value has increased more than 300 percent since late 2022. ABC's Rihanna Ali says the FTX founder also must pay $8 billion in fines. First look traffic now, and here's Andy Farnsworth. Still crash-free on our freeways. That's good news this morning. And light traffic most everywhere, although I am starting to see some busier traffic uh, kind of uh, up by Weber State and Ogden along Harrison Boulevard in that stretch uh, between uh, 31st Street and 36th Street. Traffic on the uh, Highway 89 drive through Farmington and Fruit Heights, that's all clear. And even Redwood Road, uh, that's starting to get busy north of 2100 North in Lehigh. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. It's been a whole year now since Russia detained American journalist Evan Gershkovich. It was one year ago when Russia's FSB arrested Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich, accusing him of espionage. The U.S. State Department and his newspaper both dismissing the charges as false and his detention as wrongful. Gershkovich's mother, Ella, telling ABC News that he's continuing to push for his freedom. He says that he's fighting. He's fighting. Just this week, though, a court extending his pretrial detention until at least June 30th. Mark Remillard, ABC News. Two California men are facing charges for running a baby formula theft ring here in Utah. KS on his radio's Alexandria Bonilla reports. Police say the men stole thousands of dollars worth of baby formula from Macy's grocery stores in Provo, American Fork, Spanish Fork, and Pleasant Grove. Charging documents say they attempted to steal more but got too spooked by loss prevention employees. Prosecutors say they kept a notebook of when, where, and how much was stolen from each 
store. No official motive has been released yet. The Utah County Attorney's Office says stores should be aware of this trend and watch their baby formula closely. Alexandria Bonilla, KSL News Radio. We learned this morning that the Olympic torch in the Paris Summer Games is going to be placed just steps away from the Louvre. The cauldron will be between the museum and the Place de la Concorde. Uh, Organizers had originally talked about putting the flame near the Eiffel Tower. Hmm. The Princeton Review recently ranked the University of Utah's game development program as first in the nation. KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live with that story, Michael. Amanda, over at the U, the 140 students involved in that program have the chance to create a video game from the initial pitch all the way to publishing. It's a process involving artists, engineers, designers, and storytellers. Student so producer Benjamin Fellows tells the Deseret News seeing these games come to life and eventually get placed on an official gaming platform is exhilarating. Now, the industry of video games has grown significantly over the past few decades. Matter of fact, it makes more money than music and movie industry combined. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. There just isn't much in the way of delays for this Friday drive. Everything moving well out there this morning. Hopefully, it stays that way. We'll check traffic and weather together next. Join your friends who rely on KSL each morning for the fastest routes to work and school. I like traffic on the nines. So I need to get the kids up earlier so that my son isn't driving quickly in a snowstorm. Traffic and weather together every 10 minutes on the nines on KSL News Radio. You love the feel behind the wheel. You'll love the new 2024 Acura MDX from Jody Wilkinson Acura. During the Spring Into Performance event, Acura is offering 1.9% APR. Lease the 2024 MDX only $589 monthly. For offer details, text the word Acura to 57500. Jody Wilkinson. Downtown. Acura. 1111 South Main. You'll love the new 2024 Acura RDX from Jody Wilkinson Acura. During the Spring into Performance event, Acura is offering 1.9% APR. Lease the 2024 RDX Super Handling All-Wheel Drive only $4.59 monthly. For offer details, text the word Acura to 57500. Jody Wilkinson. Downtown. Acura. 1111 South Main. This is the year to go see Utah Symphony and Utah Opera. The lineup is stacked. With beloved classical masterworks like Beethoven's Ninth Symphony, the tragic love story La Boheme, favorite movies like Disney's Frozen, and an unforgettable evening with Broadway star Audra McDonald, there is so much to love. Tickets start as low as $21, so secure great seats for extraordinary live music experiences now at usuo.org. On March 29th and 30th, hear a violinist at the top of her game. International competition winner Serena Huang is making her debut with the Utah Symphony, performing Dvorak's Violin Concerto. It's one of his most popular pieces, but so difficult that it's only attempted by the top violinists. Feel the energy in your limbs as the violinist's bow dances across your strings. It's monumental, dramatic, and selling fast. Get your tickets now at utahsymphony.org. Don't miss the Utah Symphony before, uh, performing Dvorak's uh, Violin Concerto. Get your tickets at utahsymphony.org. 739, traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. Back to you, Andy. Amanda, travel on I-15 is still uh, looking good from Draper to downtown. It's getting a little bit busy as you go south on Wasatch Boulevard between Big and Little Cottonwood Canyons. We've got some heavy traffic on Mountain View now going from uh, West Valley uh, 5400 south all the way towards the 3500 south that stretch going down the hill getting kind of heavy and then in lake point we've got some slowing sr 36 right in front of the flying j jason and a little bit of congestion northbound on hillfield road making your way up towards the south gate of hill air force base and maybe a few extra cars at the west gate of hill air force base i-15 itself though remains really clear and uh, good speeds all the way from ogden to downtown salt lake city eric just a touch of congestion in eastbound 2100 north in Lehigh, heading from Redwood Road over to the freeway. More so the closer you get to the entrance ramps. I-15, once you get there, no problems throughout Utah County. Uh, for instance, from Santa Quinn to Point of the Mountain, that's your typical 30-minute drive. Flock to IFA Country Stores from March 25th to March 31st to grow your chicks and chickens with backyard specials on everything. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. With our cold front now to the south, we'll go 54 degrees, mostly cloudy skies today with a slight chance for showers as we work into the nighttime hours. Overnight, we'll dip off to 41, 
54 tomorrow with a chance for showers returning. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. 37 degrees downtown. In fact, we're going to grab Matt and bring him in the studio and talk to him in a minute about, about this storm this weekend. Are we going to see any snow in the valley? Like, I got snow yesterday at my house. Yeah. You did too, I imagine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it was really coming down it for was, a while. Yeah, those flakes were huge. Uh, we'll talk to him more about the weekend storm just ahead. Right now, though, Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News is here, brought to you by the law offices of Jordan Wilcox. You can keep your Darth Vader and your Thanos for my nine bucks. The greatest villain in movie history is Biff. Biff Tannen from Back to the Future. If you remember this seminal moment in film history, this evil meathead is assaulting sweet, sweet Lorraine and dares McFly to try and stop him. And I love this part. No, Biff. You leave her alone. McFly balls up his fist, summons all the courage he never had, and McFly lets it fly. <laughs> Knocking Biff out there by creating an alternate reality where Biff buffs the McFly family cars for a living and scene. Marty, here's your keys. You're all waxed up, ready for tonight. Such a satisfying finish. But real life doesn't work that way. According to a new study from the University of Essex, schoolyard bullies grow up to make more money. This study tracked 7,000 people from the ages of 10 through age 46, and the ones the teachers identified as having problems with aggressive behavior and emotional instability went on to grow up and earn 4% more than everyone else. It's the most disconcerting thing. If you're making 85000 right? The kid who used to beat you up is probably making 885. The researchers theorize these evil meatheads take their aggressiveness into the workplace and snag that extra 4%. But the Biffs of the world are more likely to be arrested at some point in their lives, so which would you rather? Raise a McFly who ends up paying a 4% penalty for being a good kid or raise a Biff? who assaults Sweet Lorraine, but makes an extra 60 bucks a week. Don't need money. Don't take fame. I'm Team McFly. Now, if you're a Darth Vader fan or you're a Thanos groupie, I think we're done here. Jeff Kaplan's Minute of News, only on KSL News Radio. Brought to you by the Law Offices of Jordan Wilcox, IRS harassing you. The Law Offices of Jordan Wilcox can help. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. Hi, I'm Utah tax attorney Jordan Wilcox. When the IRS invades your life, it's never good news. My name is Jim. So I went through a difficult time with a divorce. Um, then the economy crashed. I was out of work. Combination of the way that my ex-wife was filing the tax returns caused mine to get rejected. And I found myself in a difficult situation that I didn't know how to get out of. Don't face the IRS alone. With everything in your life at stake, don't trust just anyone. I could not believe that it was even possible. I had hoped for something. Never dreamt in my wildest dreams he would get what he got. You need someone to fight for you. We owed 80300 and something, and I paid $1,000. Visit TaxHelpUT.com and get relief today. Let's solve your tax problems now. Visit TaxHelpUT.com. It was incredible. Do yourself a favor. Call Jordan Wilcox. That's TaxHelpUT.com. Save up to 20 cents off per gallon using Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Find a Sinclair station, store amenities, purchase history, and enjoy a simple, secure way to pay for fuel. Download the free app. KSL News Time, 745. <laughs> The three things you need to know this hour. First, Little Sahara Recreation Area is expected to be packed with visitors again this Easter weekend, and locals are paying quite a bill to make sure there's enough emergency workers around them. I'm KSL News Radio's Adam Small. Second, two California men are facing charges accused of stealing thousands of dollars in baby formula from Utah stores. Third, of course, traffic and weather together. Traffic's still uh, looking good for this morning on I 15. Unless we get a crash, I'd be surprised if we saw any busy traffic or slowdowns show up on the freeway this morning, the way things have gone so far. Even Foothill's looking pretty good this morning as you travel up the east side of Salt Lake City. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Mostly cloudy with a high of 54 today, but rain returns tomorrow. I'm Matt Johnson. 37 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. With a look at our top national stories. ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. Word coming in this morning that actor Louis Gossett Jr., the first black man to win Best Supporting Actor at the Oscars, has died. Gossett won his Academy Award for the film An Officer and a Gentleman. He was 87.
In Maryland, it's now a round-the-clock effort to clear the debris of the collapsed key bridge and the container ship that crashed into it so the vital port in Baltimore can be reopened. Four days after the catastrophic collapse of Baltimore's Francis Scott Key Bridge, the Herculean task of clearing the wreckage is underway. The U.S. Navy sending three giant cranes to the scene to help remove debris from the steel-encased Dolly cargo ship. The Army Corps of Engineers mobilizing 1,000 personnel. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze on the scene. A new measure on inflation shows it's continuing to ease. The government reporting the consumer prices slipped last month from the month before. Compared to a year earlier, though, prices were up 2.5%. This is ABC News. All right, let's go in depth here. And if you were uh, hoping for a fun-filled Easter weekend, let us just apologize ahead of time for, for Matt. Well, you can have fun, but you can't have sun, I'm afraid, because <laughs> it's going to rain. Is that right, Matt? Yeah, the email inbox might be lighting up this weekend. Uh, but, but yes, we do have a dry day today, but uh, the rain returns tomorrow. Uh, Saturday going for showers, and then Sunday looks like the brunt of the rain. And, you know... <laughs> It's hard to say it outright, you know, cancel your, your Easter egg hunts uh, because as is with any storm, we're going to have dry periods. We're going to have windows where it's not raining the whole time. Yeah. So, uh, you know, play it by ear. Uh, see what happens depending on the time that you schedule your Easter egg hunt on Sunday. But, yes, it does look like it's going to be wet um, with a high of 52. I mean, we could pick up a quarter to three quarters of an inch of water with this storm. Mm. Another great soaker. Yeah. Here's the other thing you have to take into consideration. We've been talking about this. There's a lot of people that are going to be headed down to Moab and Little Sahara, some of those places. Right. They're talking about 60 and a slight chance of rain. So if you want to head south, you can find the sun. Right. Yeah. You know, if if you're headed to Moab, uh, it'll be breezy, uh, but it's also going to be dry for most of the weekend for that Easter Jeep Safari. Sunday, you got showers. I, I just watched for it. You know, Little Sahara. That wind is going to be the problem, right? Kicking up that sand at mm-hmm. times. Um, but, yeah, there's there's portions across the state that could see sunshine. Yesterday, I got some good snow at my house. Matt, do you think this storm over the weekend, will I see any more snow, do you think? You know, Sunday has a chance for sure as we get that colder air in here. Core of the low crosses overhead uh, sometime Sunday afternoon and evening. So with that happening, yeah, we could we could see another little rain-snow mix event. Mm. All right, we're going to look beyond uh, just the Easter weekend in the seven-day forecast coming up here in a minute. But let's see if that weather's affecting any of our drive this morning. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. And it's been a good go so far. It really has, and we've gotten through the peak of the commute, which is about right now. And even on this particular Friday, we don't have much traffic on I-15 compared to usual Fridays. And definitely a lot less than a usual weekday. Uh, Traffic is a little bit heavy on 5600 West, though, at the intersections going between uh, 5400 South and 4700 South. uh, Excuse me, 6200 and 4700 South. If you're in Tooele County, SR36 moving just fine until you get into Lake Point where it slows just a tiny bit right before I-80. Jason? Still looking pretty fantastic to and from Logan through Sardine Canyon. No problems uh, there. Weber Canyon also good in both directions on 84. Ogden Canyon is clear. And I-15 remains with the 29 to 30 minute travel time southbound from Ogden to Salt Lake City. Eric? I-15 northbound from uh, Provo to Point of the Mountain. That's a 20 minute drive you're getting on at University Avenue. We don't have any major delay spots in Utah County. However, it is uh, going to be a little bit slow on 2100 North from 2300 West uh, eastbound over to the freeway entrance ramps. Along the 215 East Belt, looking good heading North Foothill Drive though, getting a little bit slow from Parley's Way northbound up to 1300 South. Baby Animal Days at American West Heritage Center in Logan happening now through April 6th. Visit awhc.org. Baby Animal Days, join them for springtime. Eric Butler and KSL Traffic Center. All right, the seven day four Forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Now what, Matt? Okay, well, we got a dry day today, mostly cloudy skies, 54. Tomorrow we'll see showers increasing, 54 the high. Uh, And then early, early Sunday morning is when that cold front comes through. And then we'll see windows and waves of rain on Sunday. Monday, 53, mostly cloudy. You might see an a.m. shower, but that's the start of the dry up or the drying out will go Tuesday 59, 65 with high pressure on Wednesday, but don't let that 60 degree weather fool you on Wednesday, Thursday next week. We got another storm headed in. I'm going to look at the positive side of this this weekend. I'm going to use your forecast as a hall pass not to have to clean up my flower beds. Oh yeah, uh, yes. in the backyard. <laughs> oh, it's an it's an indoor weekend for sure. Yeah, hall yeah. pass granted. <laughs> Thank you. 
Uh, right now, cloudy out there, 37 degrees. And coming up, we've got our last cougar tracks of the season. Uh, that's just ahead on KSL News Radio. Why choose a Sleep Number Smart Bed? Can it keep me warm when I'm cold? Wait, no, I'm always hot. Sleep Number does that. The Climate 360 Smart Bed actively cools or warms up to 13 degrees on either side for your ideal sleep temperature. 94% of Sleep Number Smart Sleepers report better sleep. J.D. Power ranks Sleep Number number one in customer satisfaction with mattresses purchased in-store. And now save $1,000 on our most popular Sleep Number Smart Bed and Saturday. For J.D. Power 2023 award information, visit jdpower.com slash awards. To find a store near you, visit sleepnumber.com. At Charmin, we heard you shouldn't talk about going to the bathroom in public, so we decided to sing about it. When you roll the Charmin up just off on the party, let's just roll so roll it back, everybody. Charmin's irresistibly soft and hella nice. The creep is always stuck. It's our party vibe. Yeah. 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 So Everybody wanna touch the sky. Charmin Ultra Soft is irresistibly soft and more absorbent, so you can use less. Enjoy the go with Charmin. Brought to you by Dominion Energy's ThermWise program, where they put their energy into helping you conserve it. Start saving energy and money today at ThermWise.com. Discover the best of senior living at Trio Orem and Trio South Ogden. Today's older adults aren't wrapping up their life's journey. They're seeking a new one. And Trio Independent Living is here to help them do just that. With a smart, modern, and connected lifestyle, residents cultivate relationships and maximize independence through signature programs like Prime Fit Wellness that bring living well and well-being to life. Welcome to the new age of senior living. Schedule your visit at leisurecare.com slash Utah today. What would you say if I told you you could get a free furnace? What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Wilson with Any Hour Services, and I hope you'd at least say, tell me more. Now, before you get too excited, let me explain how this works and why we do our free furnace sale. We feel like we've got the best HVAC techs around and we want to keep them. But the only way we can do that is if they're working and providing for their families. So we set money aside for this free furnace sale. We're only able to give you this great deal because you're helping us keep our guys busy. It's actually great if you've been thinking about replacing both your furnace and air conditioner because when you have any hour services install a new air conditioner, we'll give you a new furnace for just the cost to install it. About 400 bucks. The furnace is free. You just pay the labor. All you have to do is call any hour services by March 31st to schedule a free estimate. One of our HVAC supervisors will come to your home and explain all the details. If you think you might be interested, call any hour services today and schedule your free estimate. 801-443-7400. You can Google Any Hour Services. You can even schedule online at anyhourservices.com. No one helps more homeowners than Any Hour Services. Tim and Amanda. Do I look forward to reporting the news? Yes, insofar as it helps me understand what's happening. We know that it's important information that's going to impact people's lives, and so that makes the job of reporting the news that day easier. Utah's Morning News, between 5 and 9 on KSL News Radio. Dave and Eugenific. I've never seen anything like it. Caught on a doorbell camera, a woman being mowed down by a white sedan. Is this the same man that is in custody right now for targeting women with his car? Today on Dave and Dujanovic. Watching Utah's Money is brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Music streaming service Spotify will be helping Universal Music Group promote their music after all of the music from the company was removed from TikTok. The removal of the songs have hurt their ability to go viral. Meta is bringing AI to its designer glasses starting next month. Ray-Bans will be getting the makeover of the future. They'll be able to translate and identify objects, animals, and monuments. The glasses will also respond with a simple, hey, Meta. <laughs> That's interesting. <laughs> uh, KFC, uh, KFC is introducing another new item to their menu, Saucy Nuggets. They're launching five different flavors, and you can get ten for six bucks starting on Monday. Uh, markets are closed today for a Good Friday, so we'll have market uh, news for you on Monday. Right now, it's time for Cougar Tracks. Here's KSL Sports BYU insider Mitch Harper. We've reached the end of the road for Cougar Tracks in this inaugural year covering BYU in the Big 12. BYU football learned how challenging power conference play can be as they missed the postseason for the first time in six years. On the other hand, BYU men's basketball exceeded everyone's low expectations and reached the NCAA tournament. But a new chapter awaits next fall as BYU will be part of a 16-team Big 12 that includes in-state rival Utah. Big 12 Commissioner Brett Yormark is bullish on the league's future. There's never been a better time to be part of this conference than right now. Our future is extremely bright, very bullish in our future. 
The Four Corners obviously will be joining us. We'll be a 16-team league for the first time. Cougar Tracks will return this August, but in the meantime, go to kslsports.com for all my written content and podcast this offseason. With Cougar Tracks, I'm Mitch Harper on your legacy home of the BYU Cougars, KSL News Radio. Introducing Peach Doors and Windows. Are you ready to upgrade your home with stunning new doors but are overwhelmed with how to begin? Peach Doors is here to make the entire process smooth and stress-free. Visit their showroom to see their wide selection of wood doors, durable fiberglass, energy-efficient aluminum, oversized glass bifold doors, and so much more. It's not just about looks, it's about durability and security to protect what matters most. Let them help you find the perfect match for your home, budget, and personal style. Visit their showroom and see for yourself. No pushy sales tactics, only guidance from their experienced staff. No inflated markups just to offer so-called discounts. See their five-star reviews where customers rate them on their attention to detail through every step of the sale and installation process. Amazing home transformations begin with windows and doors. Serving Logan to St. George, just Google Peach Building to see for yourself. Are you stressing about your IRS tax problems? Have you received notices from the IRS threatening to garnish your wages, levy your bank accounts, or seize your property? You need an ally. Allies Tax Relief has tax attorneys and enrolled agents that are ready to fight for you. They have saved millions for taxpayers just like you. Allies Tax Relief can help put a stop to IRS collections and most importantly, negotiate your tax debt. Here's Brenda, a happy client of Allies Tax Relief. I owed the IRS around $57,000, and they're about to start garnishing my paychecks. I heard a commercial on the radio about Allies Tax Relief, so I thought I'd give them a call. After a day, they were able to at least stop the garnishments, and after a few months of negotiations, I walked away owing the IRS only $301. If you owe the IRS, call Allies Tax Relief right now for your free consultation. Call 800-230-5174. 800-230-5174. That's 800-230-5174. 5174. Artillery fire in Europe. Russia launching its biggest missile attack. Gunfire maims soldiers and civilians in the Middle East. Humanitarian crisis. And at home, we can barely stand in the same room. We've never been more divided. This spring, start over. The 194th Annual General Conference of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Starting next Saturday. In your car at 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. On every smart speaker and streaming live on the app for KSL News Radio. 759 Traffic and Weather Together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon, Andy. Amanda, travel on I 15 heading from Draper to Salt Lake is uh, still 20 minutes travel time. It's about as good as it gets. The only delay I'm seeing right now is some southbound slowing on uh, 7th East coming down towards 21st South and some on uh, Wasatch Boulevard as you go south from Big Cottonwood to Little Cottonwood Canyon. Jason? Thanks, Andy. It's been a really good drive all morning in Weber and Davis counties, and that continues now. 89 Legacy, the West Side Belt, they're all running clear, and uh, I-15 is still at really good speeds as you travel southbound uh, and northbound as well from Salt Lake all the way up to Ogden. Eric? Timpanogos Highway, uh, Lehigh's uh, over to Lehigh from Highland and 2100 North in Lehigh. Uh, both those are getting a little bit congested getting over to the freeway and you've got usual congestion going into park city eastbound on Kearns boulevard and northbound foothill drive just a touch of slowing too don't miss park city gallery association's monthly gallery stroll the last friday of each month shop dine and get inspired by lo- supporting local visit park city gallery association.com park city gallery association.com eric butler in the ksl traffic center conditions will change for the weekend but the temperature won't 54 all the way through it's 37 right now ksl fm midvale KSL Salt Lake City. From the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios, this is KSL News Radio, Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Good morning. KSL News Time is 8 o'clock. This is Utah's Morning News. I'm Tim Hughes. And I'm Amanda Dixon. KSL's top story this hour. A man accused of four hit and runs in the Salt Lake Valley will be back in court today. But this morning, KSL News Radio has obtained exclusive video of another Salt Lake City hit and run where a woman was hit in the avenues while jogging. KSL News Radio's Eric Cabrera begins our team coverage. It was the morning of March 12th when a doorbell cam on T Street catches a white car ramming through trash cans and the woman, flinging her in the air onto the sidewalk lawn. Christian McRae, a neighbor who heard the crash, came running while the driver sped away. I really immediately knew a hit and run had happened, and I was expecting a dead person. 
so worried. And I got there and she was not dead. And I was so, so happy, but it all happened really quick. This comes following the four hit and runs on FAM is being charged for, but Salt Lake PD have yet to confirm a connection. You can see the exclusive footage on KSLNewsRadio.com and our socials. Eric Cabrera, KSL News Radio. That man charged in the other hit and runs is going to be back in court today. KSL News Radio's Adam Small continues our team coverage. Adam? Tim, Pham will be back in front of a judge for a bond hearing this morning. As of today, prosecutors have charged him with six counts of attempted murder between four different hit and runs in Salt Lake County. The first dates all the way back to August, where he allegedly ran down a woman at 10th West and 5th South. He's also been accused of intentionally running down a woman in Sandy and two women in Sugar House just days later in February. He was arrested two days before the most recent one that's been that he's been charged with at 6th West and North Temple earlier this month. Live in downtown Salt Lake City, Adam Small, KSL News Radio. A former Idaho governor candidate and activist appears to be hiding out in Utah after he got fined over $50 million in Idaho. KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston is live with details. Peter? Amanda, Ammon Bundy helped lead two massive and armed standoffs with the federal government in the 2010s, and he later stormed the Idaho Capitol in 2020 over state COVID policies. Now, multiple news outlets reported he disappeared from Idaho after he received a $50 million fine for harassing a local hospital. Bundy tells independent investigative firm called Bellingcat that he's not in hiding and that peace officers can arrest him at any point. Bellingcat used clues from his social media videos to locate him in southern Utah. One video included a fridge magnet with the title Iron County Schools, and another shows him driving it past a sign that Bellingcat pinpointed on I-15 in southern Utah. Reporting live, Peter Johnston. KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories this hour. Massive cranes are arriving at the site of the Baltimore Bridge collapse this morning. Here's ABC's Perry Russum. Investigators have been on board Dolly surveying the twisted steel encasing the front of the ship. The Coast Guard says they're trying to determine where to cut the bridge. The weight of those beams crashing onto the ship, a major challenge. There is no timeline on how long it's going to take to remove the bridge wreckage and get that Baltimore port back open. Two women pulled over earlier this week in Weber County say they're going to file a complaint with Clinton police this morning over a strange traffic stop. KSL News Radio's Mark Jackson reports. From the time an SUV began following them to the moment lights came on and they were pulled over, Taylor and Virginia say they both felt something was off, telling KSL 5 they don't believe they were adequately shown IDs or badges and that the reason they were pulled over seemed nitpicky to them. That we rolled past the stop line before completing our stop at a stop sign. They say they felt unsafe, worried that two men were impersonating police officers. Turns out one of those men is a clinic. Clinton police officer assigned to U.S. Marshal duty. One of the fathers of the two women has already filed a complaint. Clinton police say they are investigating. Mark Jackson, KSL News Radio. Just a heads up for downtown Salt Lake City drivers with a construction project that's getting underway Monday morning at West Temple and Second South. KSL News Radio's Tammy Kikuchi has details. Dominion Energy is closing the intersection to replace a natural gas line. The closure starts in April and wraps up in mid-May. All traffic lanes will be closed, but right turns only will be allowed for access to businesses and parking garages. Work will take place between 7 a.m. and 7 p.m. Monday through Friday with weekend work on occasion. Reduce speeds while driving near the work zone. Nearby residents and businesses can expect increased noise, dust, and vibrations. They are saying that that closure timeline could change because of the weather. First look traffic now, and back over to you, Andy. Amanda, travel on I-15 right now is uh, still clear of delays, but we've got some slowing going south on uh, the road from Big Cottonwood to Little Cottonwood Road. In fact, it's right where Wasatch Boulevard splits off from Little Cottonwood where the delays end. We had restrictions into the canyons earlier, big and little, where chains, four-wheel drives, those restrictions have been lifted. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. A coalition of environmental groups is petitioning to save a bird that stops at the Great Salt Lake as it migrates. KSL News Radio's Heather Peterson reports. Wilson's fowler ropes travel from South America and 60% of them stop at the Great Salt Lake on their way north for breeding season. Scientists say the small migratory bird's fate is intrinsically linked to the health of the Great Salt Lake. A representative from the Center for Biological Diversity told an impassioned crowd at Utah State Capitol Thursday they've submitted a petition to the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service to protect Wilson's fowler rope under the Endangered Species Act. The group says the Endangered Species Act has a 99% success rate of saving species from extinction. The White House says it's getting ready to welcome 40,000 people for its annual Easter egg roll. The egg extravaganza was first held on the lawn in 1878. 
Guests this year will include thousands of military and veteran families. Members of the general public claim tickets through an online public lottery. A landscaping team at BYU can now call themselves the national champions. Again, KSL News Radio's Michael Commit is live with the story. Michael? Tim, this is a contest that takes place every year where students not only compete, but also connect with landscaping professionals. And both I and KSL TV spoke to students and faculty advisors. And planting landscape professor Phil Allen says this year's event was special for another purpose. Even more emotional and winning was seeing over 50 past students who are highly successful in the profession of landscape contracting come back and be involved with the event. Team captains Shelby Monks and Joanna Davis told me that they weren't expecting the team to do as well as they did this year. For now, they've won $6,000 and some career connections. Reporting live, Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. So nice to have a smooth drive for people headed north from Utah County. Looks good, northbound I 15, but we'll check it next on KSL. Spend time with KSL News Radio and get a deeper understanding of the world around us. I do listen to KSL so much because you've got voices like Boyd Matheson. I listen to him every day. You can trust him. Inside Sources, weekdays 1 to 3 on KSL News Radio. I'm still going for it, even with higher stroke risk from atrial fibrillation and a regular heartbeat not caused by a heart valve problem. Over a three year study, Eliquis Apixaban tablets reduced stroke risk better than warfarin, and over 97% of Eliquis patients did not experience a stroke. A first stroke occurred in 2.9% of warfarin patients versus 2.3% of Eliquis patients. Don't stop taking prescription Eliquis without asking your doctor. It may increase your stroke risk. Eliquis can cause serious and in rare cases fatal bleeding. Don't take Eliquis if you have an artificial heart valve, abnormal bleeding, or antiphospholipid syndrome. While taking, you may bruise more easily or take longer for bleeding to stop. A spinal injection while on Eliquis increases risk of blood clots, which may cause paralysis, the inability to move. Get medical help right away for unexpected bleeding unusual bruising or tingling numbness or muscle weakness medications such as aspirin products NSAIDs SSRIs SNRIs and blood thinners may increase bleeding risk tell your doctor about all planned medical or dental procedures learn more at eloquist.com or call 1-855-ELOQUIST what's in your garden Oakdale organic compost nutrient rich formula makes vegetables flowers trees and lawns grow beautifully no wonder it's the official compost of Thanksgiving point visit oakdale.com Hi, this is Doug Wright with yet another great experiment you can try right there at home. I want you to take four bags of water softener salt, lift three of the bags with one hand, good luck on that, and one bag with your other hand. Now, if you're like most people, you'll probably find that three bags of salt weigh about three times as much as one bag of salt. And that's an important thing to keep in mind when you're shopping for a water softener. You see, Connecticut of Utah, an authorized Connecticut dealer, their water softeners are so well designed, they use only only one bag of salt for every three that other water softeners use. Now, I can't speak for you, but I'm not a fan of lower back pain. And as our little experiment has hopefully demonstrated, carrying that one bag of salt, it's a lot easier on your back than carrying three. That's just one of the many reasons you should look into water softeners from Connecticut of Utah, an authorized Connecticut dealer. To learn more, call Connecticut of Utah, 801-576-8600, or go to SoftwaterUtah.com. 809, let's get a look at traffic and weather together again. Brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. Andy, there hasn't been a whole lot to talk about. No, it's been actually pretty quiet this morning, and uh, that's been nice for everybody who does have to be out and about. In fact, right now, I-15, you'll make it from Draper to downtown in less than 20 minutes. We do have some heavy traffic on 56th West. Not so much on Mountain View, believe it or not, through West Valley. And the backups that I'm seeing is southbound on uh, Wasatch Boulevard just before you get to Little Cottonwood Canyon. Jason? Well, we've had no accidents all morning long in Weber and Davis County. That continues now as you are rolling southbound on I-15 at regular speeds. It's been a good travel times all morning long. We continue on with that. Maybe a little crowded right now at the west gate of Hill Air Force Base, but otherwise everything is moving fantastic up north. Eric? I-80 out through Parley's Canyon. No problems this morning. Uh, you got a pretty dry roads, dry enough to where you don't have any delays. Getting into Park City, though, you do have some extra congestion. Uh, that's on uh, Kearns Boulevard eastbound, uh, westbound from US-40 into town. I-15 Utah County moving along at a normal pace. The Easter Bunny is at the Jordan Landing Shopping Center. Bring the family through March 30th to visit the Easter Bunny. Professional photos for purchase. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. After yesterday's rain, we'll take a break. Mostly cloudy skies, temperatures in the mid-40s. Overnight, slight chance for a shower. Temperatures drop off to 41. Tomorrow, 54 showers returning. 
and then another round of rain on Sunday, high of 52. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Cold spot this morning, Park City, 24 degrees this hour. And right now in Salt Lake City, 37. We'll chat with uh, Debbie Dujanovic and find out what's coming up on David Dujanovic just ahead on KSL News Radio. Remember to follow us streaming live at KSLNewsRadio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, where Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. Not too late to uh, stop by and see our friends at NPS. Uh, the movie show is going to be there today at their Layton location, but. Uh, still time to register to win an Easter basket yes. at each of their stores. Two days left, today and tomorrow, and that's it. So make sure you get in, and not just for the Easter basket, but would you like to save some money? Because if you'd like to save some money, the place for you to shop is NPS. And that's every day. Every day. 30 to 70%. But then you'll hear us talk about, and we'll give you some examples here, of uh, additional price markdowns, percentage markdowns on just about everything. And I think... This is a great idea. When my kids were tiny and growing like weeds, mm -hmm. we knew everything that we had for them this winter was not going to fit again next winter. And so it's a good time to be looking at uh, winter coats and snow bibs for next winter. They've got 60% off. Yeah. And if you're looking to buy jewelry, maybe thinking ahead to Mother's Day, they've got an additional 60% off all the Pandora and fashion jewelry. And uh, also for uh, this Easter sale at uh, NPS at their industrial store, 70% off single dining chairs. If you want some matching dining chairs, they've got 50% off of those. And even coffee tables and end tables marked at another 50% off. And all departments, 30% off. Some exclusions apply. But I'm telling you, would you like to save some money? The place to shop, and it's fun to shop there, too, is NPS. Yeah, don't forget about the fun. Leighton, Orm, and two stores in Salt Lake City. Marcus is a connoisseur of anything that's free. So he was happy to read the disclaimer on TurboTax Free Edition. Roughly 37% of taxpayers qualify. Form 1040 and limited credits only. See how at TurboTax.com. <laughs> That's me. File your taxes 100% free with TurboTax Free Edition and get your max refund guaranteed. See if you qualify to file for free at TurboTax.com. See max refund guarantee details at TurboTax.com slash guarantees. Offer not valid in all states or where prohibited by law. Loans are subject to lender approval. See website for details. Honey, the credit card bill came, and we're maxed out. Maxed out cards. Rent is due. We just need some extra cash to help us get by. Maybe we should go to 27cash.com. With our bad credit? 27cash.com is one of the largest personal loan networks. They can help people with any type of credit get up to $5,000, and cash can hit our bank account as soon as tomorrow. When you need extra cash, go to 27cash.com. That's 27cash.com. 27cash.com. There are products that offer up to a 20% upfront bonus just for opening an account and up to 12% per year for retirement income. I'm Jeff Jr. with Trajan Wealth, and I've heard from other advisors saying this is too good to be true. No, it's not. We are one of the few who can offer products like these because we're independent. We're not registered with a broker dealer who tells us what we have to sell, and we don't have to answer to a board of directors who prioritize shareholders over clients. So, is an upfront bonus up to 20% and 12% per year growth for income too good to be true? For most advisors, yes, but not Trajan Wealth. The fact that many of our clients come from other financial advisors is a testament to our value. Experience the Trajan Wealth difference for yourself. Call 801-899-7600. That's 801-899-7600. Guarantees are based on the claims paying ability of the issuing insurance company. KSL News Time, 815. The three things you need to know this hour. First, a man accused of targeting and intentionally running over several women in the Salt Lake Valley will be back in the courtroom today. I'm KSL News Radio's Adam Small. Second, Juab County officials say they're ready for the Easter weekend rush to the Little Sahara sand dunes, and it's going to cost them thousands of dollars. Third, it's a look at traffic and weather together. Most of the traffic looking good this morning, whether you're on freeways or city streets, just a bit of southbound slowing on Wasatch Boulevard, though, prior to Little Cottonwood Canyon. If you're going to see a delay, it's that direction in that spot. I'm Andy Farns in the KSL Traffic Center. Our cold front is stalled out in central Utah. We'll keep it dry for the Wasatch. I'm Matt Johnson. Right now, 37 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. And time for a look at our top national stories. From ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. He was the first black man to win a Best Supporting Actor Oscar ever. The former star of the miniseries Roots and many other films and TV shows, Louis Gossett Jr. has died. Louis Gossett Jr. played the tough-as-nail Sergeant Foley in 1982's An Officer and a Gentleman. I said Foley! 
in, you slimy worms. The role won him an Oscar and a place in the history books as the first black person to win Best Supporting Actor. He was 46 when he won the Oscar, but his career started when he was just 16. He made his Broadway debut in Take a Giant Step in 1953. His career would include five Emmy nominations, including one in 2020 for his role in HBO's Watchmen, and he also co-starred in last year's remake of The Color Purple. Louis Gossett Jr. was 87. Jason Athens in ABC News. Hollywood. Massive cranes arriving at the port of Baltimore to begin the process of clearing the wreckage of the collapsed Francis Scott Key Bridge. Here's ABC's Dave Packer. Three cranes provided by the U.S. Navy arriving at the site of the Baltimore Bridge collapse, including the largest crane on the East Coast, capable of lifting over two million pounds at a time. The section of bridge laying across the bow of the container ship that crashed into it is estimated to weigh nine million pounds, so the steel will have to be strategically cut into pieces. Figuring out how to do that will take some time. The EPA is out with new emission standards for heavy-duty trucks, buses, and other large vehicles. The new rules take effect beginning in model year 2027. The feds say they will avoid up to a billion tons of greenhouse gas emissions over the next three decades. In a little over a week, everybody's going to be talking about the solar eclipse that will stretch across much of the country on April 8th. Nazmus Nasir has been planning his trip to watch for seven years. I don't know if there are words to describe the level of excitement I have, you know, having you know, preparing for this for years. I knew the dates of the next five or six that are happening. I said, yep, I know exactly where we want to go. He says he'll travel from Boston to Texas to get the best view. This is ABC News. Deb's here. Uh, sounds like you guys are going to be talking about what we've yep. been talking about all morning, and that is this uh, ring camera footage of what appears to be another hit and run. Of a woman who looks like she's walking down the street, mm -hmm. uh, minding her own business, and from this three-minute video clip that we obtained here at KSL News Radio of a ring doorbell camera in a Salt Lake City neighborhood, a white car comes barreling white, right toward her, mm -hmm. runs her down, we never see the car return to the scene. Um, it just keeps driving. She's lying lifeless on the side of the road. I've watched all three minutes of it. You can see a shorter version of this um, on our KSL News Radio Facebook page. Um, but she's laying there for three minutes before neighbors um, take notice of what's gone on. It's it, nobody else appears in the video at the moment of impact, so it doesn't seem like anybody was around and. It looks to me like she was intentionally targeted. Oh, yeah. Now, is this the same man driving the vehicle that has been currently in court facing charges, uh, six attempted murder uh, charges involving similar uh, hit-and-run crashes? In a white car. All, all over Salt Lake City. There was another crash, of course, we talked about in February in Sandy. Same car. Mm -hmm. uh, looks this, like, to, to me, to be the same car. Mm. Which raises the question, how many more women are out there mm -hmm. that police have not yet identified have been victims of this type of hit-and-run crash involving a white sedan? Now, to, to be... I want to be. I want to make note here that police have not officially confirmed to us that this March 12th video that we received of this ring doorbell camera of this crash is connected to him. So that, if it is, that means there's an additional case. We've also been reporting on yet another case in March as well. So how many women, how far, how wide, how long has this been going on, and what are the police resources that are being put into this? Because this we know for, for, for a fact based on the probable cause statement has been going on at least since August. Mm. At least since August, according to the timeline police have provided us. So we have a lot of questions, and we truly want to know what are the police resources that are being put toward this to find out if there are many, many more victims out there. Yeah, and by the way, these questions are being asked on the day that On Fam is making his first appearance in court as well. Mm -hmm. So uh, we, of course, will uh, continue to follow that today. I uh, just want to remind everybody that uh, this portion of Utah's Morning News is brought to you by Revere Health. Traffic and weather together now brought to you by Sinclair's DinoPay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And we go back to you, Andy. And right now you're clear on I-15 from Draper to Salt Lake City. Full speed limit, 20-minute travel time. Bangor is a little bit busy in West Valley coming up on 21st South. Mountain View clear, but uh, Tooele County looks great. I-80 to the airport, uh, Lake Point to the airport on I-80 is about 10-minute travel time. Jason? And speaking of travel times, we're holding out at 29 to 30 minutes south. 
southbound I-15 from Ogden to downtown Salt Lake City. Uh, likewise, you're still looking good on the west side belt, on Legacy, on 89 there at regular speeds. Really hasn't been a whole lot to talk about this morning. No accidents to speak of, and we continue on with that at this point. Eric? It's slow getting into Park City westbound on Kearns Boulevard, but nothing new there if you're on US-40 and trying to get into town. If you're on I-80 and going out to, down to Park City, exiting at Kimball Junction, going south on 224, a modest amount of slowing going by the Canyons area. I-15, Utah County, northbound, southbound, that's looking good right now on the freeway. Spring is here, and new deals are blooming at Murdoch Chevrolet. Receive up to $9,000 off or 2.9% for six years on a Silverado 1500. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast, 54 today, mostly cloudy skies. 54 tomorrow with a chance for showers. Better rain chances on Sunday, high of 52. Mostly cloudy skies on Monday, 53. Full-blown sunshine with high pressure moving in on Tuesday, 59. We bump it up to 65 by Wednesday, mostly sunny skies. Thursday, partly cloudy and 63. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. Cloudy and 37 degrees downtown. The seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. Tim and I have some lower bowl jazz tickets to give away. We will do that after we give you a second keyword in about 20 minutes. We'll give you another keyword that you can text to 57500, and that'll give you two chances. That plus, if you haven't done it already, text jazz, the word jazz, to 57500. Hey, and if you're working from home and you want to raise, like a substantial one, maybe you ought to think about going back to the office. We'll tell you about it coming up with Money News next. Revere Health is dedicated to making healthcare easier and more accessible by offering the latest technologies to improve the patient experience. We offer convenient telehealth appointments so you can receive care from the comfort of your own home. We also offer an online patient portal called Follow My Health that enables you to manage your healthcare online. When you download the Follow My Health app, you can exchange direct messages with your doctor, view lab and test results as soon as they are available, renew prescriptions, and review upcoming appointments. If you're ready to schedule your annual physical for 2024, we've made that easier too. Revere Health now offers the ability to schedule appointments online for primary care and select specialties. Visit our website at reverehealth.com to learn more or to schedule your next appointment online. Through these convenient solutions, Revere Health demonstrates its commitment to quality, patient-centric care every day. Revere Health, your partner in health, your partner for life. This Monday Tax Tip is brought to you by Susan Spears, CEO of the Utah Association of CPAs. If you haven't already funded your retirement for 2023, do so by April 15th. That's the deadline for contributing to a traditional IRA or a Roth IRA. Making the deductible contribution could help you lower your tax liability this year. To qualify for the full annual IRA deduction in 23, you must either 1. Not be eligible to participate in a company retirement plan, or 2. If you are eligible, your adjusted gross income must be less than $73,000 for single or head of household filers, or $129,000 or less for couples filing jointly. The maximum IRA contribution you can make is $6,500 or $7,500 if you're 50 or older. Discuss your IRA deduction options with your CPA. Get the most out of your income tax preparation when you hire a CPA. Go to uacpa.org to find a CPA that's right for you. Listen to KSL on Monday for more tax tips from the Utah Association of CPAs. For fabulous food, atmosphere, and tradition, Five Alls Restaurant offers memorable dining for any occasion. Birthdays, anniversaries, proms, graduation, engagement, and more. Fivealls.com. Utah's strong winds can cause huge damage to your roof that you can't see your roof might need repair don't wait for a disaster call the masters at master roofing for an honest inspection at 801-383-0072 specializing in small repairs master roofing handles everything from patching holes to full roof replacements schedule your free assessment at masterroofingutah.com Watching Utah's Money, brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. If you're working from home, as Tim intimated, and you want a pay raise, you might want to consider returning to the office. There's a new survey from ZipRecruiter that found that workers who return to the office got a pay raise about $10,000 more. Yeah. I think that might be worth coming back to the office. Then workers who stayed at home and asked for the same raise. You know, you need to be 
physically and visually in front of people. Yeah, more of these companies, and we had, uh, you know, wondered for years after the pandemic, would they bring everybody back to the office? And they're just figuring out that it works better for mm-hmm. their business. Productivity and all other things. To have everybody back in one place. Sun Chips cashing in on the total eclipse in two weeks by selling solar eclipse flavored chips. We're still trying to figure this yeah. out. The flavors are pineapple habanero and black bean spicy gouda. There is a catch. They say they're only going to be available f- to purchase online. Get this. During the five minutes, the eclipse is in its totality. Yeah. If they were doing this just for attention to it, be viral. The, it worked. Make it Play-Doh pineapple flavor or We're something. We're still talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. The U.S. economy grew at a solid 3.4% annual pace from October through December. That's better than the government thought. The total outputs of goods and services dropped, dropping from its 4.9% rate of expansion in the July to September quarter. We've been giving futures numbers all morning and then realize they aren't moving. So (laughs) markets are closed today uh, for Good Friday, and uh, we'll pick up coverage, of course, uh, Monday morning here on KSL. No major difficulties along the Wasatch Front for drivers on I-15 or the other freeways. It looks good out there. We'll check traffic and weather together coming up next. Three days only, today through Sunday. Save thousands on hot tubs and swim spas. It's a major manufacturer's liquidation of hundreds of in-stock spas. Utah State Fair Park. Hot tubs discounted 40 to 80% to the lowest possible price, starting at $29.99. Free professional delivery. Take possession tomorrow, next week, next month, or next season. The hot tub and swim spa sale. Utah State Fair Park. Shop over a dozen models of swim spas from 11 feet to over 19 feet. Swim spas offer low-impact exercise, active family fun, unsurpassed relaxation, and installation in one day. The hot tub and swim spa sale. Everything must go. Free parking, free admission. You can't afford to miss this. It's a major manufacturer's liquidation of hundreds of in-stock spas. Today, noon to 8. Saturday, 10 to 8. Sunday, 10 to 6. The hot tub and swim Spa Sale, Utah State Fair Park. Visit hot tub and swim spa sale.com. America's pastime is hitting the field. KSL has a roster of all stars to welcome the season. Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon with breaking news from 5 to 9. Dave and Dejanovic and Boyd Matheson have analysis and talk all day. And there's Jeff Kaplan's minute of news on the way home. Your bullpen is loaded on KSL News Radio. KSL News Time 829, traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents a gallon. How are we doing this hour, Andy? Tim, we've done really well the whole morning, in fact, through Salt Lake County, with a little bit of a stretch uh, and exception, some delays going into Little Cottonwood Canyon this morning. Uh, otherwise, it's looked really uh, fantastic. Even on the west side, Mountain View, Bangor, 5600 West, haven't seen. Redwood Road, haven't seen any extra delays this morning, so enjoy that while you got it. Jason? And we'll put that on repeat for up north as well because it's been uh, good speeds on all your major highways. All the good, all the feeders over to I-15 have been moving smoothly all morning long. We've been accident-free and delay-free, and we continue on that way at this point. Eric? I-15 solid in Utah County from Spanish Fork and Springville up to American Fork and Lehigh. A little bit of congestion if you're exiting at Pleasant Grove Boulevard uh, just off the freeway. Some of those city streets are getting a little bit filled in. If you're heading through the Wasatch back, uh, no problems on US 40 this morning northbound from Heber City past Jordan L Reservoir up to Park City. Update your kitchen with Durden's Appliance where they meet any competitor's price. Visit Durden's.com or on 5th South in Bountiful. Durden's brand you know at prices you'll love. Eric Butler in the KSL Traffic Center. Two clouds today, 54 for a high. The rain comes back this weekend. I'm sorry to tell you both Saturday and Easter Sunday will have rain both days and the highs at the mid to lower uh, 50s. But then it starts to warm up. Look at this. On Tuesday, 59. Lots of sunshine on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, we get up to 65. So it's like 30 degrees warmer on Wednesday than it is right now. Right now, downtown, we have clouds and 37 degrees. You're listening to Utah's Morning News with Tim Hughes and Amanda Dixon on KSL News Radio, 102.7 FM and 1160 AM. Good morning. KSL News Time now is 8:30. KSL's top story this hour. Little Sahara Recreation Area is expected to be packed with visitors again this Easter weekend, and locals are paying quite the bill to make sure there's enough emergency workers around them. KSL News Radio's Adam Small begins our Easter weekend team coverage. Little Sahara on some years gets as many as 50,000 visitors for Easter weekend, so they bring out all the stocks to make sure they have help if they need it. We stage our, our full EMS on site at the Sand Inn, 
and as well as our law enforcement and our, our search and rescue. Juab County Commissioner Clint Painter tells me they have an agreement to work alongside the BLM since it's their land, but even with federal help just last year, the county had to pay around $400,000 out of their own pocket to help people at the sand dunes. Even then, Painter says, We love them to come. We want them to be here. We just want them to be safe. He also says, just go easy on the alcohol and, of course, pick up after yourself. Adam Small, KSL News Radio. Feels a little too rainy and snowy to be Easter weekend, but KSL News Radio's Britt Johnson tells us it's actually pretty common. National Weather Service Science and Operations Officer David Church says our weather usually doesn't dry out until mid-May. We do get some stretches of nice weather like we did last week, but the chances of Easter falling on one of the good weather days is low. So while it may not look like an Easter greeting card outside, it is looking like a typical Utah spring day. This Sunday, we'll see rain in the valleys, more snow in the mountains, which could impact drivers going through mountain passes. Moab is another Easter hotspot in the state, with thousands attending the annual Easter Jeep Safari. KSL News Radio's Alessandra Gurr reports. This year marks the 58th annual gathering for Jeep fans and owners down in southern Utah. The Safari is a nine day event that builds up to this weekend, which includes a giant vendor show and hundreds of Jeeps off roading along the 41 available trails. Jeep has built four new vehicle concepts for the Safari that will be unveiled in Moab. A push to charge international tourists more uh, when they visit the national parks could actually help pay for billions of dollars in needed repairs. Here's KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. It would cost about $23 billion to fix up the roads, buildings, and utilities of our national parks, according to the National Park Service. Utah's price tag alone would be almost half a million bucks. One push as an alternative to using federal funding to start addressing these fixes is hiking the costs of park attendance for international visitors. The Property and Environment Research Center has released a report saying that if the fee goes up by 25 bucks per international visitor, revenue could almost double for all national parks. Peter Johnston, KSL News Radio. KSL's top national stories now. Former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie says he won't try another run against Donald Trump, this time as part of a third party unity ticket. It's another blow for the No Labels Party. ABC News political director Rick Klein has more. His team, I'm told, did some polling in more than a dozen states and and ran the numbers and ran the math and ultimately concluded that first, they're not sure that No Labels can actually get on the ballot enough places to make a difference. And you'd have to win in so many states, 20, 25 states, that it's almost an impossible climb. And in their estimation, the only thing a No Labels candidate would do would be contribute to Donald Trump's election again. And that's exactly what Chris Christie said he wouldn't do. The No Labels Party is still trying to find find a candidate for the 2024 election. Cryptocurrency mogul Sam Bankman-Fried has been sentenced to 25 years in prison for stealing money from hundreds of thousands of customers. The one-time king of crypto is off to federal prison for 25 years, although experts say that sentence could be cut in half with good behavior and by completing prison rehab programs. His lawyer, seeking a more lenient sentence, described Bankman-Fried as an awkward math nerd, but his victims claim he was more calculating, one telling the judge he lost money I wanted to spend on a family home. Another saying, it was my life savings and now I'm left with nothing. ABC's Rihanna Nally says getting the victims back their money will be complicated. First look traffic now and back over to you, Andy. Amanda, it's been a great drive on the freeway, still delay free in either direction between Ogden, Salt Lake and Provo. It's just some delay going south on uh, Wasatch Boulevard towards Little Cottonwood Canyon that you'll have to wait through if that's where you're going. And we've had some heavy traffic going up the hill, Highway 89 in South Ogden, up towards the split to where Highway 89 turns into Harrison Boulevard. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. American journalist Evan Gershkovich has officially been in a Russian prison for a one year. For the last 365 days, Wall Street Journal reporter Evan Gershkovich has been detained in Russia on espionage charges. The U.S. State Department says Gershkovich has been wrongfully detained. His mother, Ella, spoke with ABC News this week. You know that the U.S. government is taking Evan's case very seriously. So we are optimistic. The Wall Street Journal calling his numerous court hearings baseless proceedings and that he should have never been detained. A Russian court recently extending his pretrial detention until at least June 30th. Mark Remillard, ABC News. Two men are being charged for stealing thousands of dollars in baby formula here in Utah. KSL News Radio's Alexandria Bonilla reports. Prosecutors say two men from California stole thousands of dollars worth of baby formula from four different Macy's grocery stores in Utah County. And they tried to steal even more from stores in Centerville and Mill Creek. 
Police say the men kept a notebook of where, when, and how much formula was stolen. It's become a nationwide issue as the price of formula increases. Local law enforcement is encouraging stores to keep a close eye on all formula. Alexandria Bonia, KSL News Radio. And the Princeton Review ranked the University of Utah's game development program as the best in the nation. Right now, it's not a bad time to be studying game development. And over at the U, the program has seen major growth since it began in 2017. Students have had the chance to build games from the ground up, and this goes beyond entertainment. The program also creates games for health, learning, and simulation, according to the Deseret News. And all of this went towards Princeton's rankings. The school's undergraduate program sits at number one worldwide, with the graduate program taking second place in their category. Michael Commit, KSL News Radio. Traffic's just moving along at the speed limit in the valley. We'll check traffic and weather together coming up next. Bigger stories demand more accountability, more experience, more trust. If it's like an election day or we're expecting some bad weather, KSL presents the story. I'm biased. It's a good local source. We have you covered at KSL News Radio. You love the feel behind the wheel. Hi, I'm Jody Wilkinson. You'll love the new 2024 Integra from Jody Wilkinson Acura. I'm excited to tell you that Motor Trend Magazine ranks the Integra number one of the best luxury subcompact sedans. Right now, during the Acura Spring into Performance event, Jody Wilkinson has a great selection of fun-to-drive Integras for only 1.9% APR. Or you can lease a new Acura A-Spec Integra for just $349 monthly. Our most popular trim level, you get the Acura Integra A-Spec for only $349 monthly. For offer details, text the word Acura to 57500 or come see us at Jody Wilkinson Acura. Jody Wilkinson. Downtown. Acura. 1111 South Main. Hi, I'm Henry Winkler. My eyes are very important to me. My eyes connect me with everything I love. I loved my late father-in-law dearly. He always lit up a room, but his vision dimmed with age. He had age-related macular degeneration, or AMD. And since partnering with Apellus, I've learned there's an advanced form of dry AMD called geographic atrophy, or GA. His struggle with vision loss made me want to help others know about GA's warning signs. For some, colors appear dull or washed out. For others, hazy or blurred vision make it hard to see details, like fine print on price tags. Many have trouble seeing in the dark, making driving at night difficult. GA gets worse over time and cannot be reversed. If you think you have GA, don't wait. Treatments are available. Ask a retina specialist about FDA-approved treatments for GA and go to gawontwait.com. We've been talking this morning about all the people that may be headed down to the Little Sahara Recreation Area this Easter weekend. That They've had as many as 60,000 people down oh. there, uh, which is just crazy, especially in a small county like Jueb. Uh, just a programming note that tomorrow morning, their um, director of tourism will uh, join us on the outdoor show, and we'll talk about being safe while you're down there playing. 839 now, traffic and weather together, brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And back to you, Andy. Amanda, travel through the Salt Lake Valley has been great on I-15, 215, and even the 21st South Freeway this morning. Uh, in fact, it looks like our slowing uh, going into Little Cottonwood Canyon has shifted south, so it's not on Wasatch Boulevard anymore. It's only on Little Cottonwood Road as people merge together to go into the canyon itself. That's the longest wait that I'm seeing anyone's going to have in the Salt Lake Valley right now. Jason? Well, we haven't had any delays all morning long in Weber and Davis counties, and we're not going to find any now either. You're still going to hold out at 70-plus miles an hour as you travel southbound I-15, roll on down through Layton, Kaysville, Woods Cross, and all the way into the Salt Lake Valley. Uh, no problems on your other major highways or major feeders over to I-15. Eric? No difficulties uh, on I-15 in Utah County right now. It's starting to see a little bit of extra congestion on State Street at some of the intersections heading north from University Parkway in Orem up into the Linden Pleasant Grove and American Fork area, but nothing really to worry yourself about as far as delays. Northbound Redwood Road looking good out of Saratoga Springs, too, heading up into the Bluffdale Riverton area. SNS Roofing is your trusted source for quality and affordability. They've been the top roofing company in Utah for over 40 years. Schedule an estimate now. Get a free quote at snsroofinginc.com. Eric Fuzzer in the KSL Traffic Center.
We're looking at mostly cloudy skies today for your Friday. Temperatures topping out right around 54. Overnight, we'll dip off to 41. Cloudy skies and a slight chance for showers. Tomorrow, 54 showers returning. Better chance for rain on Easter Sunday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. This temperature hasn't changed all morning. It's still 37 degrees. Tim was just explaining the new rules in the NFL to me. So it's the, all it, yeah, it's all centered around safety. And I'm I'm about I'm down with that. Yeah. I mean, the kickoff can change if we can protect those receivers. Well, they're taking away the hip toss tackle, and yeah, there's a lot of controversy around this. Trevor Alt's going to explain it to us if you need to understand it too. That's coming up next on KSL. Stay with us, and remember, you'll always find us streaming live at kslnewsradio.com and on the app for KSL News Radio, Utah's news, traffic, and weather station. This Friday, join KSL News Radio and NPS from 10 to 1 as the movie show stops by. Then, browse and uncover what makes NPS so great. With four locations, NPS takes a new inventory every day. Then, they check all competitors' retail pricing before marking items down 20 to 70% off. You're invited to visit the movie show this Friday from 10 to 1. And that's the first step to discovering NPS. Visit NPSstore.com to begin your own NPS adventure. NPSstore.com. Here at IFA Country Stores, we're celebrating 101 years in the Intermountain West with our 101 Ways to Grow sale, featuring three unique sales in three weeks. From March 25th to 31st, flock to IFA to grow your chicks and chickens with backyard specials on everything from chicken coops, brooders, and bedding to high-quality supplements and locally milled feed. Visit your local IFA or shop ifacountrystores.com for details. Grow with backyard specials March 25th to 31st, only at IFA. Email from school. How about the incident today? Scary. Tell me about it. Did you have any idea that was going on? None. I mean, you saw Derek at the game last night, too. Did you have a clue? No. But you know, teachers like me, parents, we don't always know as much as you guys do. Kids hear first about what's going on with other kids. Half the time, it's rumors. It can be hard to tell sometimes. But if you're ever concerned about a friend who's having trouble with alcohol, prescription drugs, bullying, violence, anything, you need to tell an adult. Mom or me, a teacher, coach, school counselor, someone you know and trust. Dad, no kid is going to tell an adult about that kind of stuff. I get it, but if we don't know, we can't help. Speaking up about a problem, that's what helping a friend is all about. For more information, visit underagedrinking.samsa.gov. Good morning. I'm the 40% off window company. 40% off? Of what? Hey, 40% off. Yeah, I'll bet it's your biggest sale of the year. This week only, because you need a model home in our neighborhood. Well... Well, nothing. It's baloney. Hi, this is Kathy. And Doug of Window World. When you hear those things, you know you've entered the baloney zone. Resist the force of the baloney zone. Find Window World online at windowworldutah.com. Or call Window World at 281-8111. That's 281-8111. And that's no baloney. They say it takes 10,000 hours to become an expert. You may not have that kind of time for weatherization, energy efficiency, and appliance rebates, but we do. Dominion Energy's Thermwise program has experts who know where and how to save money. They help homeowners and businesses find simple ways to conserve natural gas and rebates through upgrades that may help to save even more. We put our energy into helping you conserve it so you can spend your 10,000 hours becoming an expert in what matters to you. Start with a home energy plan at thermwise.com. And the news is brought to you by Dominion Energy's ThermWise program. Their experts help you save money. Start now at ThermWise.com. KSL News Time, 845. The three things you need to know this hour. First, the national parks need $23 billion to pay for infrastructure repairs. One push is advocating for increasing fees for international visitors to help foot the bill. I'm KSL News Radio's Peter Johnston. Second, two California men are facing charges for running a baby formula theft ring here in Utah. Third, it's traffic and weather together. Clear on the freeways, I-15, no delays, no crashes. We've got a little bit of slowing the mouth of Cotton, uh, Little Cottonwood Canyon. It is starting to stack up on traffic into Park City, both on SR-224 and on uh, uh, SR-248 as you come off Highway 40. I'm Andy Farnsworth in the KSL Traffic Center. Mostly cloudy with a high of 54 today, but rain returns tomorrow. I'm Matt Johnson. 37 degrees at the KSL Common Spirit Health Studios. Tell you what, before we get to our national stories, uh, let's get this keyword out here. Just in case we've got fans out there that want to go see the Jazz play Houston tonight. We have lower bowl tickets to give away. Here is your second word. Just text this word to 57500. The word is BLAST. 
B L A S T, as in the Jazz are going to blast the Rockets. <laughs> <laughs> At least we hope so. B L A S T to five seven five zero zero. Good luck, and if it's you, enjoy that ball game. All right, here's your top national stories. ABC News, I'm Sherry Preston. The largest crane on the eastern seaboard now in Baltimore as crews begin removing the wreckage of the collapsed Key Bridge. Rebuilding could take anywhere from 18 months to several years, and the cost is expected to be in the hundreds of millions of dollars, if not more. The stock market closed today, so no response to the government report this morning showing inflation heading closer to the Fed's targeted 2% rate. ABC Stephanie Ramos says that news could have sent stocks soaring even higher. The Dow Jones Industrial Average closing at another all-time high of 39,807. That is fewer than 200 points from the 40,000 mark. Not to be outdone, the S&P 500 also closed at a record high, closing out its best first quarter in five years. And while rates and inflation remain high, the U.S. economy has proved to be resilient. Yeah, Louis, actor Louis Gossett Jr. has died. He was the first black man to win a Best Supporting Actor Oscar. He was 87 years old. This is ABC News. All right, let's go in depth here. The NFL has rolled out some major rule changes for the upcoming season, including revamped kick to, uh, kickoffs and a ban on what's called hip drop tackles. ABC's Trevor Ald says some of the players are not happy about the changes. This morning, the NFL rolling out new rule changes aiming to protect player safety, though some players say they're out of bounds. League owners voting unanimously to ban what's known as a hip drop tackle, where a player wraps up the runner and drops their weight onto the runner's upper legs to bring them down. League officials say last year there were 230 of these types of tackles, leading to 15 players missing playing time from injuries. That's at least 20 times the rate of typical tackles. This is elimination of a swivel technique. The runner is purely defenseless. But the NFL Players Association and many current and former stars say the rule goes too far. Former Defensive Player of the Year J.J. Watt tweeting, just fast forward to the belts with flags on them. But another rule change may be even more radical. Positioning on kickoffs will be drastically different, with only the kicker and returners being allowed to move until the ball is caught. The goal, reducing violent high-speed collisions and increasing exciting play. What the league is hoping to accomplish is, is that the kickoff becomes more a part of the game and the league believes it will actually be a safer play. And this change to kickoffs is just a one-year trial for now. It's possible next year it could go back or it could be tweaked even further. It is part of that delicate balance to try to reduce the risk of football, but also keeping football football. Okay, I don't understand. How can nobody move until the ball is caught? How will the line know the we ball? Well, and how many times are we going to get flags thrown because For somebody crossed before. the line? It'd be like offsides. I mean, are they going to blow a whistle or something? Because if you're if you're lined up, your face is down sometimes. Yeah. How are you going to know? I get the safety side of this. I do too. But I have real mixed emotions because I, you just have to be a Utah fan, okay? Mm -hmm. And remember the name Britton Covey. Mm -hmm. His uncanny ability to run kickoffs back. It's one of the most exciting yeah. plays in football. And there was always anticipation. And if you were up at Rice Eccles Stadium, the whole stadium is chanting covey covey <laughs> covey on a kickoff uh they're trying to cut down on the number of injuries here's some stats though that are crazy all right uh and this comes from the ceo of the atlanta falcons he said in the 2010 season there were a total of just 416 touchbacks league-wide meaning kickoff goes into the end zone mm -hmm. or somebody decides to take a knee and not bring it back or wave it off uh, so 416 touchbacks uh, for about 45,000 yards on kickoffs. Last season, there were a whopping 1,970 touchbacks and just 13,000 return yards. Mm -hmm. So teams are deciding, players are deciding not to run it back. Yeah, yeah. So maybe they're going to bring some more excitement by having the run. They're hoping that with less risk of an injury, that those returners will run it back. Will run it back. But I, it's gonna, I can't wait to see how they how they patrol nobody moving. It's go, it's going to be tough when the uh, those that are coming after the returner only have a five yard five yard head start of the the line defending him or protecting him, and they can't go until the ball is caught. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. 
We'll have to see it. We'll have yeah. to see it in action. Yeah. Uh, by the way, this started in the XFL. The NFL won't tell you that, but it oh. started in the XFL. Uh, let's uh, get a look at how the drive is doing out there. Traffic and weather together brought to you by Sinclair's Dino Pay app. Save up to 20 cents per gallon. And he still looks good from here. Yep, and that's been really the story this morning throughout the valley. Only delay right now is trying to go into Little Cottonwood Canyon if you're going to go up hit, hit ski resorts. West Side, Mountain View, Bangor, no problems. Tooele County, all clear on SR 36 now. Jason? And looking good if you are on I-15 in Weber and Davis counties. Likewise, in your canyons, Weber, Ogden, and Sardine canyons, they're moving at regular speeds as well. Dry roads in all directions. Eric? Down Utah County, same thing. I mean, you've got uh, good movement over on the dry pavement on northbound from Pro- uh, Provo on I-15 up to Lehigh. Getting over onto the freeway, you got your usual congestion on 2100 north uh, if you're uh, heading from 2300 west eastbound over to the freeway entrance ramps. Need a perfect event venue? There's a place. This is the place. Heritage Park, ideal for weddings, events featuring 11 venues, beautiful grounds, affordability for any celebration. Call or visit thisistheplace.org. Eric Butler on the KSL Traffic Center. KSL 7A forecast starts out with mid-50s today with mostly cloudy skies. Tomorrow, chance for showers, 54. Easter Sunday looks like we've got valley rain, mountain snow, maybe even some switch over to snow in the valleys, high of 52. Monday, 53, mostly cloudy skies. Going into Tuesday, hey, we bump it to 59, 65 by Wednesday, mostly sunny skies. Then partly cloudy with a high of 63 on Thursday. From the KSL Weather Center, I'm Matt Johnson. It's cold this morning, though. 37 degrees and the seven-day forecast brought to you by Performance Automotive Bountiful. One more look at money news today. Just a reminder, markets are closed for Good Friday, but we're glad you're out there with us. Hope you've got plans with your family this Easter weekend. Our news time is 852. Steve, it's becoming one of the worst kept secrets in the Salt Lake Valley, and that's what is NPS? Yes. And that's a great place to go save money. And we've gotten a lot of flack about it, but sorry, we kind of want to share with everyone what great savings are available at the four different locations of NPS in Utah. Yeah, so they sell groceries at NPS, they sell merchandise at NPS, and they have industrial items at NPS. Just depends on where you go, but they're competitive on the groceries. They'll beat your price at the grocery store on just about anything. And everything else is 30 to 70 percent off, so you can't go wrong with that. No, and it's 30 to 70 percent off retail, and they're brand new items. That's yes. the thing we have to make sure you understand. And then every once in a while, they'll do sales that they'll put another 30 50 percent off of those to where you're paying a fraction of what you'd pay at retail stores i love the industrial store because it's it's kind of a discovery for me yeah that's in salt lake it's 1600 south empire road they've also got locations in layton 1150 north main and orem 475 north state nps attention wasatch front businesses and property managers go pave utah is a full service parking lot paving repair and maintenance company servicing the wasatch front contact go pave utah today go pave utah.com getting your biggest tax refund from Jackson Hewitt can lead to some spirited reactions. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Jackson Hewitt is so sure they'll get you your biggest refund that if they don't, you get your money back plus a hundred bucks. Jackson Hewitt, yeah! Switch to Jackson Hewitt and we'll beat what you paid last year even if you filed online. yeah! Ain't nothing to it. Switch to Jackson Hewitt and pay less for tax prep, guaranteed. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. In business, service is everything. Cintas delivers what you need to better serve your customers. Whether it's freshly laundered work apparel for almost any job imaginable, tested and inspected fire protection systems, first aid and safety supplies, on-site AED training, or mops and restroom products stocked and ready when you need them. Better work days happen together. So visit Cintas.com. Oh, I'm ready! And get ready for the work day. Dave and Eugenific. I've never seen anything like it. Caught on a doorbell camera, a woman being mowed down by a white sedan. Is this the same man that is in custody right now for targeting women with his car? Today on Dave and Dujanovic. Watching Utah's Money is brought to you by Trajan Wealth, your trusted local fiduciary advisors, TrajanWealth.com. Mortgage rates could uh, be cut in the near future, but right now they're holding steady at 6.9%. The Federal Reserve expects as many as three interest rate cuts this year. wonder what the effect of that will be on housing. 
we have to we're going to watch people move i'm sure it, when that happens if it gets down low enough yeah that'll be interesting and, and it will make um some homes that are considered unaffordable at this play at this point anyway a little bit more affordable right hopefully. we'll watch that with interest the first major health insurers will start covering weight loss drug wagovi for certain people on medicare but there's a catch. It's only for people with heart-related conditions. It's taken so long for the insurers to cover it because of the cost. Users have been paying more than $1,000 a month for the medication. KSL Drives Infinity, Nissan's luxury line, is working on a way to wirelessly take a phone call. We're still scratching our heads about this. With it, So you'll be able to take a phone call as a driver without your passengers hearing it. The idea is that your passengers will get to keep hearing the radio or music playing without the person on the other end of the line hearing it. Uh, it could be on the market as soon as next year. I, I need to see that in action to, yeah. to, to get a feel some, for what that means. Some kind of sound cancellation system? Yeah. But then how do they hear the voice of the driver talking back know. to them? I don't know. There's greater minds than mine yeah. figure this out. Uh, the markets are closed today for Good Friday, and we'll take another look at your commute coming up next on KSL. What's up, everybody? I'm Mike Wilson with Any Hour Services, and if you have a drain that's clogged or backed up, after you've tried the plungers and products, the next step usually involves some kind of drain snake or cabling equipment. You see, sometimes the blockage is far enough down the line that you need special equipment that most homeowners just don't have. That's where the drains department at Any Hour Services can help. A drain snake can clear most blockages and get the water flowing again, and clearing block drains is what our drains department does day in and day out. So if you're a homeowner with a drain line that's clogged or backed up and you'd like one of our drain technicians to come and snake the line for you, it's only $29. Yep, you heard that right. Any Hour Services will snake any drain line with normal access for only $29. Sink, showers, tubs, toilets, floor drains, laundry drains, even that sewer main line that connects to the city. We'll snake any line for just $29. For help with your drain issues, call Any Hour Services at 801-443-7700. You can Google Any Hour Services. You can even schedule online at anyhourservices.com. No one helps more homeowners than Any Hour Services. Rick at Loans by Rick.